Hi guys. <laughs> Sorry, I am just getting um getting some colors together. So, little um I am early. I know. We went to lunch earlier than planned, so I figured if I had the time, I would get on. Um little FYI, there will be no more music being played on my lives. <laughs> Um, and the reason for that is because um, I spent a few hours last night trying to upload some videos to like YouTube. Um, I took all of the lives from February and I like, you know, was trying to upload them and the music in the background is copyright stuff. So that's annoying. Um, so to avoid my videos being taken down or flagged or whatever, I have decided to pretty much go music free on my lives, which is fine. I just kind of, I kind of have to get used to it. So <laughs> just a heads up here. So how's everybody's Saturday going? Just trying to get this uh, started really fast. Um, I do have to like mix a color palette, but it's gonna be like as similar to the fox that I did as possible. I know I mixed a bunch of colors, so it's not gonna be like totally perfect, but it'll be close enough, I think. Hello, hello, how's it going? I don't really know, like, maybe I should measure this. We all know that I wing this and, you know, hope for the best, so it's like five and seven. Two and a half and one. Did I just mark that where I th think I did? Whoops, a little too sharp. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, no, sorry. I actually forgot to send out live notifications because I was just trying to get a bunch of random shit done. Who's not in here? Who's not in here? Lisa's not in here. Well, I guess I'm just going to share with my normal people. So if you get an invite and you're already in here, just pay it. No mind. There's just like a, like the first like 15 people. I just, I just send it, send it out to, but anyways, hello, hello. All right. So we're going to try and see if I like this middle part. Cause this, I guess is technically the middle. So we will see if I like it. Oh, it's sticking. I hate when that happens. Hello. What's going on? Happy for uh, Saturday. Happy Saturday. Do 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 do. do. I'm doing all this line work and I'm gonna I might pull this away and realize I don't like it but it's fine <laughs> we live on the wild side here what else is new <sighs> uh, I don't hate that I think that's okay yeah I think that's all right I gotta get used to not looking at my phone because I have my iPad set up anyways so corgi colors or I'm not corgi colors, the fox colors. So we used, where's that? Uh, we'll try and get them as similar as possible. I really should, I always say I should start like naming or writing down all the names um, of colors that I've used, but you know, 
it's fine. I got a few more colors today because I went to Hobby Lobby and just could not control myself. <laughs> but I also got them because I knew I was doing this today and I kind of figured, well, maybe I won't have to mix as many colors if, you know, I buy colors that are in the color palette I use in the first place. So I got burnt orange, which I could have swore I had already. I did not. Um, and I also got honey brown. I got some other colors, but those were the colors that I bought with the fox in mind, or the, the, the Yorkie in mind. Um, I also grabbed a couple more dazzling metallic colors. Oh, I bought it like this. That's awesome. Cool. Because I gave away so many freaking colors. It is a Yorkie. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. <clears throat> You're working on the supplies you need for your upcoming class. What class is that? And I guess if I'm starting to upload these lives to YouTube, I should name the colors that I'm using for, for easy reference. So I'll do that in a second. For, for easy reference. So I'll do that in a second. So sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I had a, I got a phone call. Whoops. That always messes up my lives. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so the first colors that I'm using, we're using the light buttermilk and burlap and then we're using cocoa and honey brown which is one of the new colors i got today um we have burnt sienna and burnt orange and red spice along with spiced pumpkin as well and then I know I added some pearlizing medium to a couple of these colors, so I'll probably um, do that like when the time comes, but we'll add pearlizing medium. I also need gold. Where did I put my gold? So we'll grab gold. Um, I usually mix my gold with two different colors because I can never find a gold that I like truly love. Um, so I usually mix these two and add just a tiny bit um, of the pearlizing medium to it as well. I'll make a list in like the, the bio thing too. And then I think Worn Penny might be a pretty color. Not yet, no. So Worn Penny I think is a good one. Um, I was trying to look at my top dot colors, and I know that I used some metallic shades, so probably this this one, I think. Solid Bronze, I think, was one of them, if I remember correctly, from the last time. Um, I want to start adding this one, and then I grabbed this today, but it's rose gold, so probably not going to use it. I just thought it was pretty. <laughs> um... Some of my top dots also were some of the colors just like mixed with pearlizing medium. And then I used like one brightish orangey color. I kind of want to say that maybe it might have been tiger lily, potentially. It was either tiger. Yeah, I think it was tiger lily because I think orange flame is too bright. It was definitely one of the more red colors. So we might, we might be adding this um, at the end, but I'm not 100% sure. So I'll just put that off to the side. Um, we have so many paint colors, oh my gosh. But it's, it's fine. So all these deco art, I just wanna put them off to the side so that I don't forget. Just let them fall. We'll keep the metallics off to the side as well. And we we'll get started. Oops, I almost scrolled on my iPad and not my phone. Ooh, making sunflowers. Nice. 
That'll be fun. I hope you have a good time teaching your class. I know. <laughs> so the farthest I've actually gotten, um, so I, I had a note on my phone and I have like the kind of like an Excel spreadsheet kind of thing. Um, and I had all the colors. And then the other night I went through and I put them in alphabetical order, like by colors so that whenever I'm looking at the store, I can easily see if I have the color or not. Uh, that's as far as I've gotten for now. So it's fine. You did some top toss this morning. Woohoo! Yeah, my YouTube, it's starting. I'm starting to, I'm trying to get, so I have to get like 4,000 watched hours and all this other stuff. And I'm like, ooh, better get started. So I figure the first step is just uploading my lives to YouTube. So in case you guys miss them, you can always refer to my YouTube and watch them again. Or, sorry, my sister's here. <laughs> I buy my animals from 24 Hour Craft. Jenna, what the heck? <laughs> I'm trying to be quiet. Um, I get my animals from 24 Hour for the 24 Hour Crafts usually. Um, I have them linked in my bio because I used to buy it from them off Etsy, but they do have a website, and I have a code for 10% off which their stuff is always on sale. It's usually about 30% off. So add an extra 10% off to the, the, the already sale price on their website. Um, it's just code JGRONS10, capital letters. But if you go to the link that I have in my link tree in my bio, um, the link is automatically, the link and the code is all automatically together. So it should just go automatically. They say hi, Marina. Hi. <laughs> the dolphin is, I don't know yet. I'm kind of waiting for a couple days. I have a lot to do on it. Um, I just wanted to get the first real good layer of resin cured um, so that probably by tomorrow I'll be able to take the edges and sand all around and use some rubbing alcohol to get any of like the sticky of like the stupidly not mixed first wet. layer no it's not wet anymore but like the the sides are a little sticky so i have a lot of like editing to do i think that it'll be good when everything's all said and done but i don't think i'll know until about midweek unfortunately so do you need this area I'm gonna need your my light okay sorry we're trying to set up a little spot for my sister but all right, so I just need gold. That's the only color that I, I think I need to mix at the moment. So everybody says hello, hello. It's going in with a little bit of the um, deck or the folk art enamel, and it's thick, but it's fine because um, <laughs> the pearlizing medium probably will thin it out just a little bit because it doesn't really do anything to deco art paints, but you know, they're not that thick. Little couple squirts of the sheer, which I gotta put a little note that I need to need to buy more. Yeah, my the wood supplier I think has shapes all the way from like one inch up to like twenty four or thirty six inches. Um it's a pretty pretty good range of uh sizes. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> but yeah, you can get a bunch of sizes. I got a couple four inch pieces. I don't think it was from him, but I know, I know that he does do them. I just prefer to buy the eight inch sizes. Wait, do you not have regular Um, it might be in the other room. Can I have like mm -hmm. will that reach over here? This? Yeah. I, I don't know. You can try it. I don't want to knock anything over. Is that good? I think that should be good, right? Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, yay! Amazing! Yeah, they, they also do customs. I think it's just a little bit more expensive if you ask them to do a custom shape that they don't already have, but, you know. They come... Can you grab... Um, one of a, a, a wooden piece that isn't painted in one of those drawers, probably like the third one down, maybe third one down. Thank you. Just grab me. 
No, it's not. Oh, it is. Just kidding. So they're unfinished. Um, on the back, they have a masking tape layer, which is awesome. It just protects it from the burns uh, from the machine, the laser cutting machine. But this peels off like so freaking easy. Um, so I keep this on until I'm done. It just protects it from any paint or anything that I, you know might get on it while I'm painting. Um, but I sand this. It's really nice and smooth as it is, but honestly with dot art, you can never be too safe. Um, so I just go with like a piece of sandpaper and I just sand it just a tiny bit more smooth. And then I go in with like one or two coats of just basic black deco art Americana. Cause I like the matte look while I'm painting. So there's no glare. What do you do with the ones that have like a sand it? The holes? Oh, I don't know. That's never happened before. Yeah, whatever. You want a metal bear? Oh, cool. That'll look nice. Oh, they also sell metal pieces as well. They're a little more expensive, but they do cut metal. So that's a that's a good thing mm. to keep in mind. Mm. No nap for me today. I don't All this is going on my YouTube, just so you know. Oh. <laughs> it's your baby. Yes. 24hourcrafts.com. Uh, I have them linked in my bio um, for an extra 10% off of the price already. So I think it's about 40% off of each price or of each piece, which is a really nice discount, by the way. So um, I highly, highly recommend. I choose the quarter inch wood shapes. They have eight inch, quarter inch, and half inch thickness. Uh, I like quarter inch. Um, it's just nice and thick and sturdy. Yeah, yeah, they say stop yawning. Everybody was sleepy last time you were over. Yeah, I said I can't do that this time because I don't want to embarrass. Because you were snoring the whole time? <laughs> What's a guitarist's favorite Italian food? Stromboli. Hey, I think I think you reused that uh, that from Jamie's live last night, Anthony. I'm pretty sure I saw you post that one. <laughs> what are you working on? You're working on a Tumblr. She's working on a Geo Tumblr. It's a custom order. Um, <laughs> she's not too much of a fan, but I mean. It's not for her, so, you know, it's what the customer wants. It's okay if she doesn't like the color scheme or the design. The design's fine, it's the color scheme. Oh, it's just the color scheme, just kidding. A sympathetic yawner. I know, if anybody yawns, I usually yawn as well. So I'm starting off with the four-point corner corners, whatever, the four, the four starter points. Makes it a little bit easier to break up. I'm trying to be a little more tutorial-like, you guys. Since I don't have the music to kind of keep, <laughs> to kind of help me. Um, so I think I'm just going to, I'm not going to try and fit 20 dots around. I think I'm just going to do my normal, I think, I think this is 16, I'm pretty sure. Break them up in the middle. It's really weird without music, but I'll get used to it. It's fine. I like just totally wasn't thinking about it. And I spent so long last night just downloading a bunch of lives and uploading them to YouTube and doing all of like the descriptions and everything and waiting for them to kind of process on YouTube. Um, and then I got email, an email that one of one of them you, can, you can't watch at all. Um, the other ones you can watch and some of them like some got copyrighted, some didn't. Um, but the one you can't watch at all. And then there's two out of the three dolphin part videos, two of them, or you can watch all of them, but they might be restricted in some countries. So anyways, I just kind of said, screw it. I'm just gonna, I'm going to do my best and not listen to music on lives. So that way we can avoid anything like that, you know? trying to think I think I used one more orange color I'm pretty sure excuse my reach oh. did I see your answer maybe not hold on 
No, because my phone. Oh, wait, I'm not looking at my phone. Just kidding. A sunflower. Yeah, I did see that. The sunflower quilling, qu quilling class. Is this your first time teaching a class? Oh, thanks. I appreciate it. Yeah, I didn't I didn't realize how bad like I did I just didn't think about it, you know? Um just something that totally just did not cross my mind at all until it happened. So oh well. We live and we learn. So going forward, it's just gonna be, you know, no music, but that's okay. We're all usually pretty good with conversation. Usually. Depends on how tired I am, but feeling pretty good today. <laughs> you thought you were on the wrong side of TikTok. What does that mean? Oh, oh. You know, it's funny because I uploaded um, a video of me doing a corgi painting to Instagram and it was like a sped up version. But yeah, I had a couple comments saying like, um, why are you drawing a target like a shooting target on a dog and I'm like I'm not if you would just watch you would see that all it is is line work <laughs> but I can see how it looks at first but I promise it's it's not that it is a Yorkie a Yorkie shape it's a sitting Yorkie you teach for a year at the oh nice awesome that's exciting I think the last time you showed me something, for some reason, I thought that you went to a class and did stuff with people. Oh, <laughs> I see, I see. Yeah, I always listen to music when I paint. So, you know, we got, sing. what? I can sing. You can sing. My sister, yeah, she can sing. No, I was kidding. I cannot sing. <laughs> Yeah, there were like a handful of comments that said something. And I'm like, I'm not. I promise I'm not. I'm just painting. My dolphin may have survived. I, I won't know probably until midweek. Um, I'm just letting the first layer of resin, like officially good layer of resin cure completely um i have some sanding and some wiping down with rubbing alcohol along the sides like i literally have to sand down the entire just perimeter i guess um of the dolphin because uh for like the 10 or so hours that i thought it was curing and wasn't the resin uh was just kind of leveling and dripping over the sides like it usually does but that's not usually an issue because i can just pick it off but because it never hardened it's just this like sticky gooey like gross you know it's uncured resin you know uh so i have to try and wipe it off a little better and kind of go in with sanding uh but i wanted to make sure that the first layer of resin was cured and that i wasn't going to do a second layer until i did that first just in case i scratched it up because I probably will um so I'll sand it tomorrow and maybe do another layer or so at night potentially so I'm thinking midweek I'll know for sure I'm keeping my fingers crossed though I get it from 24hourcrafts.com if you go to the link in my bio I have them linked uh because I have I have a code so uh it's an extra 10 percent off of their already like on sale prices because their stuff is usually on sale um so i think it gets you to about 40 percent off when everything's all said and done which is really awesome but yeah pull down the gray paper yes i can <laughs> how's this hopefully a little better yeah it's better now Yeah, um, so there, it's important to note that their link does not work on Etsy. Um, it only works on their website. So um, just a heads up for that, um, which is, you know, it makes sense. They have a lot of fees and stuff to take into account with Etsy. So um, it only works through their website, the extra 10% off of the price. 
I got most of it off as well as I could. There's just stuff around, there's just some around the edges that I have to um, wipe off a little better with rubbing alcohol and maybe sand it off. And um, I'm kind of hoping that I can get it all off. But yeah, most of it's gone. <laughs> Yeah, you're welcome. I did. I did finish the third diamond last night. Here, I'll show you. Um, I just, I just added top dots to it. I think that's all I had. I had left to do was add top dots to it. So tonight they'll get their first, first layer of resin. Ooh, yes, Jen. Those are beautiful. I like. I like how some of them are kind of like swirly looking um, sunflower petal leaf petals things, whatever, you know what I'm talking about. Um, laser, Lotus Laser Works, sorry, Lotus Laser Works. They're on Etsy. I did reach out to them about a code, but they never got back to me. So I'm guessing they're just ignoring me, which is fine. Um, they're on Etsy, <laughs> but I don't have a code for them, unfortunately. I'm sorry. Oh, Mario says hi. Yeah, Lotus Laser Works. I think it's laser with an S, though, in case you can't find them. I think it's an S. But most of my pieces, my wooden shapes, I get from 24 Hour Crafts just because um, they allow me to choose the thickness of the wooden pieces that I'm painting, whereas Lotus Laser Works, um, they don't. And I think, I can't remember the thickness, but it's not quite um, quarter inch. I think it's a little less. So, um, and I like how they put the, the masking tape on the back of these ones, but they don't have every single shape that I want, but they have most of them. So, yeah. Thank you, thank you. I'm trying to keep this similarly colored to the fox that I did, but um, I did have to mix um, a bunch of the colors, so they're not all going to be like totally correct, but I will do my best. I'm sure it'll still look beauteous. Sorry, I might have missed something, Anthony. Um, comments came in like real fast all at once, so I potentially missed some comments. So if I didn't answer anything, you guys just comment it again. I, I promise I didn't mean it. I did not mean it. By the way, um, the other day I mentioned that I was looking for, I was using, I used to use a mechanical pencil and then erase all the line work and like it was fine, it worked, but it took a little bit of time. Um, and then I started using a chalk pencil and I didn't like that because the chalk just kept crumbling. Um, and so we had a couple recommendations to try out watercolor pencils, um, and also the, uh, the pencils that you use on like fabric whenever you're like, you know, cutting fabric and whatnot. Can't remember what they're called. Um, white watercolor pencil, 10 out of 10 recommend. Definitely, definitely awesome. Um, it, you just add a little bit of like water to a Q-tip when everything's dry and you just wipe it away and it gets in every little nook and cranny. Um, whenever I was using like a pencil, I would still be able to erase everything, but I had to work a little extra hard to get all the little lines in between my dots. Um, but with the watercolor pencil, you really don't have to put in much effort at all. So the cleanup is way easier. Oh, thanks. Yeah, we're working with like at least 12 colors, I think. <laughs> we're working with nine regular deco art colors. And then we have gold in here. Uh, there's gonna be maybe a couple other metallics in here as well. So say at least 12 colors easily. So I think it's gonna look nice in the end. I feel like maybe it's a good thing. I mean, I have all the oranges and stuff, but maybe it's good to add a little more brown since it is a Yorkie and not a fox. But I kind of just go with the way the design takes me, you know? 
and there's always room to add some extra like color into it by the top dots you know the top dots give me that opportunity to bring in any extra colors that i feel like you know i'm missing or if i didn't use enough of the one color i can always use it on top dots and things like that but i am excited for this little guy So we'll be on until like five o'clock tonight. So a nice, a nice three hour live. Um, so we'll see if we can finish this in the three hours. We might, or we might not. Uh, it kind of depends. It's already 2.30. Oh man. Well, if somehow I get to finish painting this or, you know, we get to the point where I can't do any more because I'm waiting for it to dry. Um, I did prep the, uh, what is it? Oh, a jellyfish. The jellyfish that I showed yesterday, I did prep it to be painted. So, you know, we'll either paint that next or today or start it today, something like that. Um, so whenever I paint, I like to just use the bottle caps. Like I'll just kind of shake my paint up and use the bottle. Um, however, I need to clean my paint bottles because I've been slacking. So a lot of them are really hard to open. So recently I've actually been using this little paint palette. Um, and I'll usually like when I, if I'm working on something with the same colors and you know, I don't need it. I only need it for a few days. I'll just cover it with another one. This is dry by the way. So this isn't, this, this isn't going to drip. This is just one that I'm letting, letting completely dry. And once this dries, you can just pick them out and they just come out like little pieces of like rubbery plasticky paint. I know you're disgusting. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's what I do. Um, and I also have these little, these little pots. I get them from Dollar Tree. You can get like eight of them in a pack for like a dollar 25. So yeah. You got all the silk colors that good art has, but do you find the teal or other blue? I would love, yeah, um, I can't remember, I, I definitely cleaned out my Joanne fabrics the other day, getting, um, silks for Terry and Jen, and also, like, I grabbed one for myself. I can't remember if there is still, like, the turquoise color and the navy blue color still there. They did have, they had nine out of the ten colors, uh, when I went the other day so I'll have to check and see if they still if they still have some left but if I find it I'll definitely check for you while I was at Hobby Lobby today I checked to see if I could find that uh, helix thing they were also out of it I was gonna try and grab one for you because I saw two of them the other day but I guess I waited too long. So I'll keep checking back and just let me know if you ever find it at Hobby Lobby. That way I don't buy it for you if you already have it. <laughs> but um, they don't have like regular blue silk, by the way. Um, they have navy, which it looks like a royal blue kind of on camera. It is a little dark, but it's not like, you know, black navy blue. And then they have the turquoise. So these are the two blues that my store has. I feel like there's a couple silk colors that are on the DecoArt website that they're not selling anymore. So, um, you know, you might see other colors on their website that don't technically exist anymore, which is unfortunate. But I will definitely, next time I go, probably next, the beginning of next week, I would assume. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to drag Scott to Joanne Fabrics tomorrow. I dragged him to all of the craft stores on Thursday on his day off. So I don't think he's going to want to get dragged along again. So I might have to wait until like Monday, maybe Tuesday. But I'll definitely look for you. Sorry, I thought I saw something come through on Instagram. So I'm just reloading my chat. Oh, it was Anthony. What did you put? Oh. <laughs> oh. Royalty free music download. Interesting. Good to know. Maybe I'll, I'll give it a listen and see if I like it and maybe use it next time. Thanks, Anthony. I don't know if you're still in here, but thanks. You might get them all then. You might have gotten them all. You got the Navy. Inter oh, yeah. I think you did. I think... There's, I think that there's at least 10 of them that you can buy in store. 
Yeah, at least 10. Oh, you just left Hobby Lobby. I wasn't going to go to Hobby Lobby today, but we went out to lunch and um, it was like right by where I needed to be. So I was just like, well, I'm a little early. I might as well just go. Cat hair. Cat hair. All right. So let's uh, cross our fingers and hope that I can't get a nice circle on first try. Here we go. No, I don't want to use that color. I want to use a different color. We'll use one of these dark, the darker reddish colors. Do do do. Oh yeah. Okay. So you you have I think all of them that exist at this point because they don't have like an actual black. It's more of like the gray, silvery black kind of color. Um, and they have brown. They have green, yellow, purple, navy, turquoise. I'm not counting, so I'm I'm gonna forget pink and then they have like a fuchsia kind of pink color red is that it did i get them all i don't know if i if i named all 10 but yeah they don't have that many soft black yeah 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 which i mean if you want like a a more like a darker black you can always just add pearlizing medium to um some black paint i don't recommend actually no you can add it to deco art americana yeah, um, if you're going to add like a mica powder to get um, a different like sparkly colored black, I would use not a Deco Art Americana, like one of the thinner, cheap black acrylic paints like uh, Top Notch. But adding pearlizing medium to Deco Art Americana would work just fine. So it would give you kind of like a, a shimmery kind of black color. How do I get my circles perfectly spaced out on both sides? So uh, I, I kind of wing it, honestly. Um, I was actually surprised that I didn't have to erase um, any of this line work. But what I do is I try and find the center of my piece um, to the best of my abilities, and I draw a straight line down the center. Um, and then I measure the length of that line, and I split it in half, and I mark just like a little teeny little notch. And I have this awesome tool. It's called like a Helix Circle Maker. Um, you can find it on Amazon. I have it saved in my storefront, but they also have it at Hobby Lobby for like $3.99 instead of like $9 like they do on Amazon. Um, I'll show it to you in just a second. I did not pay for that. I found it at Hobby Lobby. I had just forgotten where I found it. So, oh, that didn't perfect. I thought that was going to work out. So hold on. We're going to have to adjust. One second. I don't like that. So we're going to erase this, which works. That, that works because then I can talk and show while I wait for this to dry. The, uh, the orange-ish dots kind of spread out a little bit, a little more than I expected them to. So I thought that we were going to have a perfect fit but we might have to wait for a sec. Anyways, um, so I have, it's called a helix circle tool. So once I find my center on the piece, I will take, um, I've been using a watercolor. So say like this is the center right here. Um, I will hold this down so that this doesn't move. Um, and then I just, I kind of just sort of pick you know, which little teeny hole thing that I want. Um, I never really do them all the same. I kind of just do what I feel like. And if I don't like it, I'll erase it mid-design because it's just watercolor. You just use a wet Q-tip. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Um, that's how I get my line work. Super, super easy. Definitely easier than, you know, I think most people expect it to be. Where's my black paint pen? Yeah, you're welcome. So I'm going in with a Posca paint marker. Um, when this dries, it basically dries the same color as the base paint. Um, so it's just it just it, it gives me a little bit more of a precise cover up, if that makes sense. So we're, we'll just let that dry. Um, I, I also bought something else the other day. Thank you. Shout out to Anthony who sent me this link on Amazon. Uh, I think this is like just under 
seven dollars uh but the idea is the same except it's more of like a ruler um so you do need to like hold something in the center to keep this from moving i just i stick my pointy nail <laughs> um in it but it allows you to get much bigger of a circle um i don't have the room to spin it but you you get the idea right um so I can only go on this one as big as, like I'll usually trace this to get it a little bit bigger, but I can't go any bigger than this. So this tool allows me to go almost 12 inch or maybe a 12 inch circle all the way around if I need it to be. So this is another tool I've been using if I need a larger circle. So Amazon sold out of this one, really? Uh-oh, I better stop talking about these because, no, I'm kidding. I'm not the reason that they're all sold out. I don't think. Am I the drama? I don't think I'm the drama. Am I the reason? I don't think I'm the reason. I might be the reason. Hopefully not. But, okay, this, this is going to bug me. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, kind of. I remember Spirograph. I use those in math class. So, um, I don't know. Maybe I'll just have to do three. I, I'm not sure. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Although I'm kind of seeing... What? Does it cost more? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Although, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this it's kind of like a corgi cut. Or not corgi. Um, like Yorkie. No. There's all kinds of colors. Really? Mm hmm Yeah, I think Scott's Corgi, or Corgi, I keep saying Corgi, Yorkie was, like, brown. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. I'm, like, debating whether or not I want to wipe these three off, too, because they're, like, slightly bigger. I might do that. There's no harm in it. There's no harm. Might as well, you know? want it to be as perfect as possible and I don't like showing my mess ups but you know I guess maybe sometimes sometimes it's a good idea the name of the blue thing is give me a second I can tell you it's it's, it's made by helix just like um the other one that I have one sec I can tell you in momento let me just get to my uh, link tree so I can tell you because I'm pretty sure I might have added it to my I might not have maybe not Amazon storefront did I add it no I did not add it hold on I, Anthony sent it to me give me a second helix something something hold on la 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 I should add it to my storefront tonight, though, just to have it an easy access. It's almost there. We're almost there. I'm almost there. Do to do, do 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 do. Helix Circle Ruler with integrated circle templates. No, you're totally fine. Um, here it is. Helix circle ruler if you want to just give that a screenshot i'll try and hold this um steady helix circle ruler with integrated circle template 12 inch 30 centimeters it says assorted colors but it's really just random they'll randomly send you a color mine just was blue i really didn't care but anywho Oh, thank you. They're my Valentine's Day nails. I like them, but I also don't like them. Like, they're they're just not me, <laughs> you know? Um, I'm not used to having red and pink on my nails. I definitely go for either, like, the pretty opaly white or, like, a black or blue, purple kind of color scheme. So I don't really know what I'm going to do next uh, because it is acrylic. So um, it might be a little difficult to cover up. But uh, who knows? All right, so let's just cover these guys up. And then I think we'll be, we'll be set. The really, the most important part is getting 
the nice even kind of first layer on this ring of dots because that really sets off the rest of the design along with like having a nice center of course but um, this first kind of ring is important which is why I'm kind of devoting a little extra time to it Careful, careful. Oh, the other circle maker is sold out? Of course it is. <laughs> why, why, why wouldn't it be, you know? Why, why wouldn't it be easy for you guys to get? So while I wait for that pen to dry again, what do you guys think of this? I was originally going to try and do like a half kind of mandala design, but then I kind of was like, I don't know, I kind of want it to be like the circle. I'm not sure, but I'm thinking like blue sea foams, maybe a little bit of like a purpley kind of color. Um, and some like of the color shifts to make it like, you know, pretty. But yeah, so this is my idea for that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, they have the ruler one. Well, um, I know you can get a six pack <laughs> for like $30 from like Walmart or Target, but um, I, you don't need six of them. So do a circle. Sweet. Originally, I wasn't going to, but then I was like, well, it kind of looks nice. So we'll see. We'll see if we can even get to it today. So far, this is starting off kind of slow, but that's all right. Um, I might have made a mistake. I don't know. We'll see. Just add a little bit more paint each time. Try and get some even circles. Definitely didn't wait for that to dry long enough. That's okay. I'll fix that one later. At least the space is there, so at least the spacing is good. Vaseline or baby oil will help your other device. Oh. I just... I just wonder if it's going to, like, leave kind of like an oily mark, you know? I don't know if I want that. I don't know. I feel like this one needs to be... Mm, maybe we add a little bit of pearlizing medium to it, because these are, like, similar colors. So maybe we'll add... Some paralyzing, maybe. Oh, that's a lot, but that's okay. That'll be fine. We just gotta mix it up a little bit. Don't soak it. Yeah, I don't usually, so I don't really have that much issue with it sticking. Um, I find that it really only sticks if um, I'm trying to use it on something where it's smaller, so it's not like sitting completely flat on the surface, if that makes sense. Um, so what I've been doing is I'll just grab another piece uh, like a shape that I have on standby because it's the same thickness you know so I'll, it just kind of extends the little bit of platform that I'm using it on if that makes sense so there we go that looks good on Amazon click, click other sellers you can buy oh I see I see gotcha oh you have company over that's okay thanks for hanging out you don't have to be on here with the company though but thanks for hanging out anyways. So this one has just like a tiny bit of like a a pearly kind of sheen to it. Uh, it's really not that visible. So you guys definitely can't tell because it's not that visible for me either. Uh, but a nice thing about the pearlizing medium is that it also lightens up your paint colors just a little bit. Be careful with that, please. Chicken nuggets and dipping sauce. <laughs> Add a little bit of a yellow for like a honey mustard effect. I'm a, I'm a honey mustard person. I prefer that over like, you know, ketchup or barbecue sauce or ranch when it comes to like fried chicken. <laughs> 
yeah, my sister's <laughs> fine. She, uh, she, she like tweaked her neck just a little bit, I guess. So she's looking down at the piece that she's working on. So she needed something to kind of raise it up so that she can see it a little bit better without kind of hunching over. So in my little area, um, I'm pretty organized, but I stack things on top of each other. So if you need something on the bottom of the stack, you have to move everything else around it. So that, that's what she was doing. She was, she was moving things that I had on top um, of the thing that she needed. It's a bunch of little like canvases that I've been trying to paint that are mostly done. The, uh, the alcohol ink canvases that I've been working on. I kind of have them displayed right now because um, I got annoyed of just laying them flat and just having them all around my kitchen-y, like, dining room art area type place. So I started standing them up straight on, like, a pallet holder, pan lid holder type thing. So <laughs> it works well when they're just sitting flat, but if you move them, they make a lot of noise. Hello, hello. Well, what's up, Bree? How's it going? I think I need one more, one more layer. One more layer. Let's go in with the spiced pumpkin color. I think that's this one. Yeah, that's this one. Spiced pumpkin. There's bubbles. Coming in. Boop. Do I like that or should I go bigger? I might go bigger. I think I'm gonna go bigger. Go big or go home. Thankfully we won't have to wait for this to dry. I can just start on another area. <laughs> Alcohol ink Christmas ornaments. Mm, that might be interesting. I wonder like how I'd do it. Oh, I don't want to hit you. Can you do me a favor? Hold on. What? Can you go in the fridge and get me one of these? Where are you? It's a drink. I, I didn't have much left. This was from yesterday. It's I think it's a black can. I think it's a different flavor, but I it should be on the bottom. I mean, I like this one better, but I've never tried that one. So, <laughs> were you not expecting it to be carbonated? I was, but it would. Very yeah. Ew. You don't like it? I don't know. I didn't try this one. It has a, a strange aftertaste. Mm. <clears throat> it's all right. It kind of, it's just, it, to me, it kind of just tastes like sparkling, um, like cranberry juice. No. Yeah, it kind of tastes pretty similar to me. Anyways. When my sister's over, I get distracted easily. Actually, when anybody's over. Not that I never get distracted. <laughs> um, but I get distracted more. I get distracted all the time, Rena. <laughs> all the time. All right, so we're going a little bit bigger with the... Tool, I think. We'll try this one first to see. We'll see how it goes. Might even want to go a little bigger. Okay. <coughs> you all right? Oh no. I hate when that happens. Sorry. That's what you get. You didn't even ask me if you could have a sip. Okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, that's better size. Jen and Marina work together and do an artist podcast, right? Oh, 
we're trying to do um, a collab. I just we are trying to do a collab. That is true. Wait, what collab are we doing? Oh. There's a bunch of things. But the one that you sent me <laughs> So I had this crazy idea. Can you tell her that she is the only one that thinks, like, that nobody else would buy this, please? I don't know. So here's the thing. People, this is what I found. People buy really weird things. And these aren't something that I sell a lot of, but I have sold some. So like the buyer is out there and it's more of just like a, a funny kind of statement piece, which will really kind of, I think, catch a lot of people's attention. Even if, you know, it's not everybody's cup of tea, they might still be like, what the hell? Um, but like in a good way, like it'll be funny. So you guys know the little peen earrings my little peen chains and my peen you know whatever all that kind of stuff and how i did the vajangles the earrings and the keychains so i saw i don't remember what picture i saw but it like made me think about it so you know like the 3d tumblers right like the little gnome tumblers the 3d gnomes where uh they have like the little ball um like the little nose um, underneath like a like their hat, but it's like all kind of molded out of clay and then it's like baked onto the tumbler and then the epoxy over it and stuff. So I was thinking, and this is wild, like don't get me wrong, it's a freaking wild idea, but like again, it, it might, it might, it's, it's a statement piece. I mean, people do buy those like butthole earrings. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like people buy really weird stuff. So I told, I texted Marina the other day and I was like, you need to make a vagina tumbler where instead of the like if you picture the here let me i gotta hold on picture so i don't know um instead of the nose imagine it's smaller but it's like the the clit okay um <laughs> So, like, here, here's, like, I, this is just a random picture off Google. I don't know who it's from. Um, but, like, come on. So, like, you know, like, this is the gnome, right? So, he has a little clay nose, all that kind of stuff, right? So, my idea is that she makes, and she kind of drew it out, and she wasn't going to, she didn't originally want it to be 3D, but I'm like, no, it needs to be 3D. Um, make it, you know, but, like, this is the clay piece. But like, you know, and then maybe this is clay. I don't know. Um, and then we can pair it with my vajangle earrings and keychains. I don't know. I just thought, I, I, and I know, I know it's wild. Again, I, like I know. I'm not, I'm not, you know, that's not my point of making it. The point is like someone sees it and goes, OMG, what the actual F? That's hilarious. And then, you know, it all goes from there. Like, you got to take some risks. Like, people like weird things. You just got to, you just got to try it. But is that a, like a weird, is that a bad idea, you guys? I don't know. I thought it would be kind of funny. Maybe, maybe it's just me. <laughs> but I, I thought it would be kind of funny. You think it's just me? The silence in the comments. I do think it's funny. All right, let me, let me count. It should be a couple, a male and a... It's not even going to be a gnome, though. I'm just using the gnome kind of as, like, a... As, as, as like, the the inspiration idea so you guys can kind of get what I'm talking about, where it's 3D. The nose is covered by the hat, but instead of it being a gnome, it's a JJ with the little happy button covered, you know? <laughs> but, like... the there's there's buyers out there for it and the point of is of it is to like catch like it's, a, it's an attention grabber you know what i mean well maybe you should ask them what they would buy like what they would think would be something that they would like as a collab well i mean that's the other thing that can't, that's not going to be our only collab though so what do you guys want to see from my, my sister and i if if, if you were going to do if if you were going to buy a tumbler and a piece of my art what, you know, what, what would you want? I must, I must be watching Grace and Frankie. No, but that's, that show is really funny. Okay, let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 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 Twenty 
29. All right. What's there's probably nothing that divides by 29, but we're gonna we're gonna try anyways. Where's my calculator? Because I can't do simple math. Here we go. 29. One left over. 7 with 1 left over. Well, yeah, I don't think anything divides into 29. All right, well. Well, how did that happen? It happened, it's just, it's random. That's, that's, that's the thing. All right, well, we're just going to wing it then. I don't math and dot either, I know. I try not to math and dot. No, I knew I should have done the bottom one. I knew I should have done the other one. That's all right. I have the two spaces on the left. What? I can just hear my like drink bubbling because it's carbonated. Jody, <clears throat> Jody says you should make it. I'd buy it. See, there's someone already. I just, I think it would be funny. And, you know, right now, since everybody's struggling for views, you need that something to, like, catch the person's attention, you know? Maybe I should have went down again. I hate that. That's all right. We will get there. It's a good way to show that, you know, it's, I'm not perfect. I mess up all the time. But it's an easy fix. Typically, I'm not one like one of those people that likes to wipe away mistakes. But when it's like little things like this, it's not too terrible. It it made me yeah. I did count. I did count the spaces um, on the left. I did. I made sure I did. But yeah. See, it's supposed to make you smile. That's kind of the point. It's funny. You know, not everybody has to like it, but it's funny for some people, you know, and that's all that matters. I'm always trying to make this as even as possible, so I think this has to go. I might have, I, I might not have had to wipe off the other one. No, it was in the right spot, I think. Yeah, it was in the right spot. That's okay. Right-ish spot. There we go. Oh, I see. Um, I want to count them because it will kind of matter. Like, it's not off-center like cut off enough where like I can't see any of this because normally like I wouldn't count it but for this one I feel like I do need to count it so we're just doing our mighty best one two three four five six yeah so this one right here doesn't need to be like perfect 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 but it needs to be symmetrical enough and I think I think we did a good job with that and I don't think I'm really going to use this for anything other than just guidelines I'm really not going to pay much attention to it because I think I'm going to build my petals outwards and kind of go a little further up I think that's I think that's a good plan because not every design can be 100% replicated, obviously. They're always going to be different. I can do the same colors, but they might not always be the same, same design. And I think that's what's really cool um, about this kind of art method is, like, 
You can get similar pieces to everyone else, but you're never gonna get the same piece. It's always gonna be unique. A one of one piece, if you will. Yeah, I like that. Nope, that's too small. There we go. Perfect. Thank you. So I have been seeing a lot of dot artists using paint brushes for swooshes. Um, it seems to be getting pretty popular pretty quickly. I feel like there's one specific creator who's kind of responsible for it being so popular. And I think a lot of people are kind of using her work as inspiration. Uh, anywho, I thought it was really cool and I was like, kind of want to try it. So I bought some paint brushes, the ones that she like recommended. So I think I did get her a little bit of monies cause I bought it off of a listing that she had on her storefront. But uh, they came in yesterday and I tried to use them and man, it is hard. Like I felt like a brand new baby dot artist again. Um, it was really difficult. I still haven't gotten the hang of it. Um, I definitely need to practice. There's potential, but um, <laughs> it's hard, um, really freaking hard. And um, I don't want to say I recommend right now. Uh, I need to give it a little bit of time. <laughs> They're really hard. I can't seem to get like the paint to be all opaque all the way through the brush stroke. Um, and I'm also struggling with I don't know if I'm going like like too heavy handed, but I just, I can't get it to like, you know, I'll show you. Um, I was using my practice canvas and you can see how like terrible, but I, I can't get it to like get really good and like thin at the end. Um, like I just, I, I was struggling with it. I tried it for a little bit last night. It was like, this freaking sucks. <laughs> I can definitely do it better with my tools. So um, I'm gonna need to get it like a brand new canvas just or something, or maybe just a piece of paper just to try it, but really freaking difficult. Um, but I'm not gonna like quit, but I'm definitely not gonna try and dedicate all my freaking time to it. Cause you know, it's not something that I wanna do all the time. But yeah, they're really, really hard. Um, and I mean, I was talking to my friend Ash, you guys know Ashley, um, about it. And she said, like, before I bought the paint, the paint brushes, like this was the other week, she said that they do take some time to figure out, but once you get the hang of it, it's easy, which is, that's how it is for dot art too. You know, it, it could be a little difficult at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's actually not very hard after all. Um, so I just need to practice at it and you know, maybe, maybe one day I'll be able to, you know, actually do it. But yeah, that's, that's the new thing in my life. But I, you know, I don't really have the time to really devote to it as much as I'd like to right now. But maybe I'm glad that I tried it on like fake stuff instead of just like, you know, crossing my fingers and just going in like I usually do just winging it um, on something that I was already working on because I definitely would have kind of ruined it and I would have been mad at myself. Um, yeah, definitely need to practice. Yeah, I mean, regular swooshes are hard enough to master. Then you want to try and swoosh with a paintbrush with less control. Sheesh, that's difficult. That's, that's difficult right there. Yeah, I mean, all it is is practice. You can pretty much do anything that you put your mind to, um, especially with dot art, because, I mean, I literally never did this. And it, like, before, I mean, it hasn't even been two years since I've been dotting. So all of this is complete practice. I've never dotted in my life before, 
you know, before that, that point, in, uh, before March of 2021, I've never dotted in my life. So the fact that you can get this far in two years, you know, just says a lot about practice. There is a cat hair that I can't seem, I think I got it. Nope, still there. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. That's fine. Not worried about it. Dang it, Toby. You're not even over here. <laughs> what else is new? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's that's what I'm going through right now as well. I just... I, I tried them for maybe about 20 minutes or so last night, which I know isn't that much time at all to dedicate to it, but I really wanted to try it, and... I definitely was like, yeah, this this sucks. J Grons ten. Um, you it, you can't go through Etsy though. It won't work on Etsy. It only works on their website. Just just an FYI, you gotta go through their website for it to work. Thank you. I mean, that's the other thing. I'm good at this. I don't need to to pick up another style of dotting. I mean, it would be nice to change it up every once in a while, but like, it's not a necessity. Yes, yes. 24hourcrafts.com. You can even just go, um, if you click on my little like picture up at the top left and then get to my TikTok profile and click on the link, I have I have it like easily like linked in there so you can just click and it'll take you right to it and the code should be automatic if you go through that link. Just so you know. Just so you know. Mm, I think I want to do nope, yes, no, yes, no, yes. Yes. <laughs> I was like what color am I going to do next? I'm great at swooshes. Thank you. Took a lot of time. Uh, took a lot of practice. And I eventually figured out something that like works well for me, which I think is important. Because um, there's like there's many different ways to do swooshes. And I think a lot of it depends on kind of what you're working on, how much space you have. Um, so like something like this, um, I'm going to do one more kind of round of petals after I finish the color that I'm working on right now. Um, so like I'll have a lot of middle space. I, it looks like I'll have a lot of middle space. Um, and so I'm not probably going to feel like I need to be as exact. So I likely won't use two tools until I kind of get a little bit more squished together with the colors, um, or with the swooshes. But yeah, I mean, using one tool tends to be a little less exact. I mean, you can get it pretty exact. But if you're trying to squeeze a bunch of swooshes together, I would recommend just doing the dot and then going in with like a small pointy tool and dragging your dots into the place that you want them to be. Because um, that kind of just gives you a little bit more leniency, a little bit more um, just exactness. What's the word? I can't think of it. But yeah. Control, yep, yep, it gives you more control. But it took a while. I didn't really start swooshing for the first little bit of time um, into my dotting. And if I did, they were, you know, there weren't that many of them. Now I, I do, like, in, integrate uh, swooshes into a lot of my work. Um, but back, back about two years ago, I just definitely didn't do that that much. <laughs> Um, but then eventually I just got the hang of it and then it got easy, but practice, practice, practice makes almost perfect. I don't want to say perfect cause there's always room for improvement, but it makes almost perfect. I'm better at swooshes now than I was, you know, a year ago and better, you know, or six months ago, a couple weeks ago, always improving. Always working towards improvement. Sometimes you got to work out of your comfort zone too, you know. Oh. 
Are you okay? Oh. Um, sounded like you were like frustrated, like you did something wrong. No, I also just sometimes like um, my focus, my focus with like rhinestone only lasts so long. Mm, I feel that. I don't know how you dot. It's not like I feel like that's the same type of. I think it's just as you see the piece start to come together, you just kind of want to keep going so that you can like see it done, you know? Yeah, but I might not do one more layer of petals. I might save this so that I can do a ring of dots. All right. So we're going to start off with the first swooshes. So I kind of scoop my paint on my tool so that I start out with a lot of paint. And I'll kind of pick my tool up as I go downwards, just to kind of give it um, some room to get smaller without having to like dip my paint um, multiple times, if that makes sense. So like I'm literally just kind of just dragging the paint downwards. And for some reason on swooshes, I always kind of do one of the sides of the swooshes first, and then I'll flip and do the other side because sometimes it's just easier to do it from different angles. The swoosh is the gold stuff that I, the gold the gold thing that I'm doing right now. A swoop, a swoosh. I don't know what other people call them, but th those are the same. You know, those are usually what I call them. But yeah, I think the key is starting off with a lot of paint and just, you know, little baby movements. Um, if I didn't have a lot of space to work with, I probably would start out with like a dot. Um, and then I would, instead of using the same tool to move the paint downwards, I would use, um, something that's pointy and I would drag the dot into place. But right now I have enough room to be able to just use the same tool. So that's what I'm going to do until I kind of start to start to run out of space. Mm. You're a nightmare. I promise you'll get, you'll get, you'll get there. I promise. The thing with dot art, at least for me, is that like I learned that you can't go into it with much expectation if, you know, you're just starting out. Because you might be disappointed. And I don't want to say that everybody's going to suck on their first try. Because, you know, there are some people out there that can just pick stuff up really, really easily. I'm not, I'm not really one of those people. Um, I can catch on quickly. But my first try on certain things definitely isn't always the greatest, right? Um, and you just got to keep working at it. So that's how dot art was for me. Um for a while actually and I literally just kept going you know I, I almost quit my fiance wouldn't let me though he was like no nope you spent a lot of money on paints and tools and you know like basically like you're not a quitter so don't don't let this don't let this one take you out <laughs> um, and I'm, I'm glad that I listened to him because I don't, I don't know what I would be doing if I decided to quit after like two months of practice and not feeling like I was getting anywhere with it. Hello. How's it going? All right. I want to do maybe like a, the red. No, I want to bring in a little bit of this white, I think. Let me pull up my fox picture for reference. See what I did? Yeah, I didn't really use much white go back in with the red I am a dot artist so I paint um pretty much like anything besides mugs and like the mandala stones I pretty much paint every uh, everything else so my big thing right now is like the animals and the pets where I use different shapes and uh, paint designs on them. I also do like keychains and necklaces, earrings, like more functional kind of art as well, not just like wall decor. Um, but yeah, that's what I sell. And I also sell some like tool toolkits, some dot art starter kits. 
um, for those people who may be interested in trying to pick up the art style. Um, I sell a toolkit that has uh, three different sets of tools, um, as well as like some other little like pieces of tools that you know might come in handy while you're dotting. Um, all the stuff that I sell in my toolkits are things that I <coughs> bless you are things that I use on a daily basis. So like I know that it's you know they're usable. <laughs> So, yeah. I live in Pennsylvania. The earrings are fun. Yeah, if you hold your tool at an angle, um, it does work. Like, that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Um, and I, I'm so bad at using my curve tools sometimes because... Because I never started with the curve tools, I don't always reach for them. But the curve tools, and I'll show you. Let me just grab it in the same size. The curve tools work really well for swooshes um, because you don't really have to hold them at an angle. Um, instead of you kind of going in at an angle like this, right, um, the curve tool is already pointed downwards. So all you have to do because you're kind of holding it like a pencil now. Um, all you have to do is just pull downwards. So the curve tools are really awesome for swooshes, in my opinion. They're awesome for walking dots as well. Uh, walking dots and swooshes um, are the things that I think the curve tools make a little bit easier. You don't have to have the curve tools, though. Like You can totally do it with the straight tools, um, but... If I were just starting out, I wish that I knew about these. I really do. Um, but I didn't find out and, or start using these for much, much later into my, my dot art journey. I do. I have quite a few moderators. Yeah. A lot. My, my mods are people that are in my lives like all the time um, or most of the time. People that, like, I can really count on to pretty much, you know, be here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely try the curve tools. They might, they might change your life in, for the good. <laughs> they might not make you, make you, make you want to, like, rip your hair out. Try and swooshes. <laughs> Answer a text or read a text. Um, oh, I'll have to build you on your reserve color. Oh. Okay. Um, hey guys, just so you know, any of you glitter people, um, Oh So Cute by Jessica is having a live sale tonight, um, and she is selling some glitter that, um, is only for the live sale. Most of her live sale glitters, when she does a live sale like this, most of them never make it to the website after the fact. So, like, once they sell out, she usually doesn't bring them back. Um, so... She has her live sale tonight, and um, she's not going to be mentioning um, any codes. Like, none of her uh, affiliates are supposed to mention her codes on the live, but, like, we can mention it beforehand. So if you guys are interested um, in any of her glitters, if you happen upon her live tonight, just make sure you use the code DOT, capital D-O-T, for some monies off. <laughs> I... 
need to double check what time her live is. I feel like I want to say six o'clock, but I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Part of me wants to say six o'clock. Part of me wants to say eight o'clock. I don't. I'm a bad affiliate. Obviously, I should know this stuff. Hey, Sam. It really is silent without the music. <laughs> I miss the music. <laughs> That's all right. We'll get used to it. I'll have to listen to that thing that Anthony sent me because it was like a a, a commercial kind of sound use, so like you shouldn't get the copy or copyright infringements with those with those sounds. But I wanna I wanna listen first before I start using it on my live. I don't know what kind of music it is. I know it is so adorable. It's coming along so well. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna do like a nice big swoosh a nice a big swoosh should we do gold should we do hmm it's always hard to pick the colors brown we should probably bring that brown back I haven't used that yet so um you can use music I I, however, um, I, I was trying to upload my lives to YouTube and um, I came across an issue where because I was playing music in the background, my videos were getting flagged because of like copyright. Not all of them, but some of them were getting flagged and I don't understand why some were and some weren't, but you know. Um, so to avoid getting flagged in the future because I want to try to keep uploading um, my lives and stuff to YouTube and hopefully other things to YouTube as well. But for now, I'm just doing my lives at the moment until I, you know, get some more stuff recorded and kind of figure out how to use YouTube a little bit more. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I spent like two, two plus hours last night uploading videos just to find out that some of them got flagged and I'm like, damn it. So, yeah. It makes sense why now some of the creators that I watch who um, upload their stuff to YouTube, it makes sense why they don't listen to music anymore. <laughs> I do, yes. I do. Can you hear it? <laughs> now that the music isn't on, it's probably real loud. My, my little vape. I didn't even think about that. I guess you can hear it a lot more now. Good to keep in mind. So you can see with this swoosh, I am using a pointy tool to kind of drag uh, the tail, I guess, down straight. And then I'm using the paint dot because I put a lot of paint in this dot right here to start out with. I'm using the residual paint and kind of just dragging my swoosh into the shape that I want it to be. So it's a little bit more exact. <laughs> yep, yep, that was me. <laughs> that was me. You all right? <laughs> what was that? Well, my little thing is dull. Oh, I so see. I can't get your rhinestone picker. What do you think so far? I definitely think it needs top dots, right? We need some top dots in here. <laughs> Ouch, that hurt. Oh, well, thanks. I like opal. Opal is my thing. Opal is my thing. So I used... 
Hmm. Gotta make, gotta, gotta mix, gotta mix a color. Thank you. Gross. Just a little bit. I don't need. I don't need a lot. Just, just a little bit. Jeez. <laughs> Everybody has a chair on wheels, Jenna. I know. I didn't until recently. Not till Christmas. It was a nice Christmas gift. Pretty. Ooh, I'm just making like a pearlized orange. So it'll just be a little sparkly and pretty for the top dots. Some of these top dots. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Mm. Stop yawning, you're gonna make me tired. <laughs> and everybody else watching too. Yeah, I think it looks better once you got the rhinestones on it. What time is it? 3.35. All right, we still got time. Feels a little later than 3.30, but I've been up. I've been up for a while. I didn't I didn't sleep in today. I know you made me freaking wake up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, Tammy. What's going on? Happy, happy Saturday. Just doing some top dots um, so that I don't have to reach over my design as I continue to bring the design outwards. So this is where I can bring in some colors that I haven't used yet or haven't used enough of yet in the design. Bring in some metallic colors too. Top dots just make everything better. Oh, it's laundry day for you. Ugh. I oh, have to. That's what I wanted to do. Oh no. I need to bring my sheets over. Mm, I have to fold laundry. Not much, but I, I should probably fold laundry. I'm really bad at like letting my clean laundry build up and then like folding two or three loads all at once. I'm, just, I'm really bad at that, so I'm trying to to stay on top of it so I don't have to like keep digging for like my leggings or like the shirt that I want to wear every day. <laughs> it sucks being an adult. No, my mom, she made us do our own laundry after a while and fold our laundry and stuff. But my mom, like our, she was on our case about it though. We weren't, we weren't allowed to just let it build up. But now as an adult, I do what I want. <laughs> and if I don't feel like folding laundry for two weeks, I'm not going to fold laundry for two weeks. Eventually, I get to that point, though, where I'm like, okay, this looks messy, and my, my room would look cleaner if I just folded my clothes and put it away. <laughs> Ooh, nice. What are you shopping for? Anything special? We're just, just out and about. If you see something you want, you're going to get it type of thing. Or just window shopping, you know? Yeah, my sister is here. My sister is here. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <clears throat> nope, that's too big. I'm go one size smaller. Oh, nice. I love going to like consignment thrift store type places. I don't go often enough, but I do like going. Cause like, you know, it's like it's like a treasure hunt. You never know what you're gonna find. Two hours away from home right now. Whew. There's this um there's this store that I wanna go to. Uh my friend sent it to me today and I was like, Oh, that looks awesome. But the closest one to us is in Ohio. It's called uh, Pop Shelf or something. It's kind of like a cross between like it was it's kind of like if like 
five below and dollar tree or you know dollar tree and target had a baby um that's kind of what it is so there's a lot of just like random you know it's like an adult five below kind of but the prices are a little more than five dollars sometimes but a lot of stuff is about five dollars um and i really want to go so my friend and i we're gonna have to like take a road trip one of these days I did. I have my Valentine's Day nails. I don't know how I feel about them. They're pretty. They're pretty. I'm not going to lie. They're really pretty. I mixed this, my own glitter for it, but the color is just not me. You know, I'm not one to have that color scheme usually on my nails. That's all. Wait, who has deco art? Pop shelf? Oh, wait, hold on. I must have missed something. Who has deco art? What? Damn. Well, now I really got to go. I'm going to get stuck in their art section, I guess. But yeah, I think the closest one is, what is it, Cuyahoga County in Ohio? It's like an hour and a half away from us here in uh, Pittsburgh. Uh, I think there's also one in Virginia, but I think the Cuyahoga one is closer. I don't know. It's going to have to be like a day trip with me and my friend because she really wants to go. I really want to go. I think it would be fun. Yeah. Gabby. She was the one who to told me about it and was like, I was like, where is this place? And she was like, Virginia. And then I looked it up and I was like, oh, they also have, they also have one here. And she was like, oh my God, we must go. And I'm like, yes, please. I hope they open up one in Pittsburgh. I, well, I do and I don't. Cause I feel like if they do open one, that's just going to be bad for my wallet. Cause I feel like I'm going to want to go there all the time. <laughs> but I do like I don't want to have to drive an hour and a half anytime I want to go to it you know because I I like driving but I also don't you know what I mean like I'll drive somewhere and then I'll do my thing and then when it's time to go home I'm like yeah I don't I don't want to drive anymore and then I'm gonna have to force myself to drive for an hour and a half like no thank you I think it's basically like where um, I used to work or one of the stores that I used to work. I think that's where it is. But I don't know how, like if they're like super new or if they're just getting popular because people were posting about them on TikTok and now everybody knows about them, but... Um, definitely, definitely on my bucket list of places to go to, for sure. I think I'm going to go light brown. Let's see. Yeah, that's good. Just bring in this design to life with some top dots. Top dots make everything better. And then... Probably tomorrow, once I know that everything's, like, super, super dry. I don't know. I'll try it tonight. But probably tomorrow, I'll just go in with a wet Q-tip and erase all of these white lines. And, yeah. It'll look fabulous. 70% of the way there. <laughs> what colors, uh, what color peeps have you done so far, Lisa? Who else is um, crafting or, you know, working on something while watching this live? Me. Me. Yeah. I know that a lot of you guys like to work on stuff. I keep Lisa on track. If I'm working, she's working. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, Lisa, I have to send you an invoice. I just keep forgetting. Oh, yeah. 
Now there are two Lisas on this chat. But that was that Lisa, yeah. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Gonna need to flip my napkin soon. It's getting very paint filled. Blue, purple, pink, yellow. Nice. Terry, what are you working on? She said, yep, no worries. Oh, are you watching too? Gotcha. You survived grocery shopping. <laughs> nice. That's always that's always a good thing. We went grocery shopping the other day, so I may not have to go again until maybe tomorrow. A hot dog. You're wait, are you crocheting a hot dog? Or are you painting a hot dog? <laughs> you do, you lucky duck. I feel like they're gonna make one in Pittsburgh. They have to. I mean, come on. I tried looking it up earlier to see if it was like on their radar, but I couldn't I couldn't find any information on it. You know, some some companies, some stores will have like, you know, upcoming upcoming places, you know, but they didn't they didn't have it yet that I could find. I didn't spend much time looking though, so maybe they do. But I feel like Pittsburgh would be a good place to have one. It's like, you know, a major city. Oh yeah, because of the Super Bowl. I think I'm just gonna make bratwurst and rice. Oh ew. Oh, it's so good. No, no, no. The Super I, Bowl? I, wanted, I needed to go somewhere, but I might not. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You're from Pittsburgh, too? Nice. Do you just, like, are you, like, actually, like, pretty much in Pittsburgh? Or are you, like, you know, 45 minutes away from Pittsburgh, but just say you're from Pittsburgh because it's easy? <laughs> For example. I, I, I'm, like... 15 20 minutes outside the city mm. so basically it's kind of like a um like a jambalaya but not really so i use the 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 dirty rice from zatarans and I just throw some, like, just original, like, Johnsonville or whatever bratwurst in the air fryer. Um, and then I just, you know, serve it like that and put lots of cheese on it because Scott likes cheese and so do I. And then, unpopular opinion, but I eat mine with sour cream. <laughs> I don't know. It just tastes really good. I don't know. It's just, it hits that, like, creaminess spot that the cheese isn't necessarily hitting um but yeah we we really like it well I like it the way I make it so that's what we're gonna we're gonna eat for the Super Bowl oh cool okay awesome I live like out like up 376 um like closer t towards like the airport area but I grew up in the South Hills. Um, I just moved a little further out. Why do I drop things all the fucking time? Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's an easy meal, you know. I just, um, you know, throw it in the air fryer and walk away. <laughs> Pretty much. nice to see someone from the same area i don't typically uh see people on my lives who are from pittsburgh for some reason uh the for you page just for some reason does not work that way with me and my stuff yeah yep yeah, exactly exactly um i just don't really see many people i get a lot of people from other you know the surrounding states in california and texas too but uh not usually from Pittsburgh. I'm lucky if I find someone. Here's 
You make you making wings ham. Ooh, nice. Lots of lots of yummy finger food snacks. Are you um are you having people over for the Super Bowl? I think it's just gonna be us. We got invited to like a Super Bowl kind of party thing with some people that he works with. But he was like, to be honest, I really don't want to go. And I'm like, to be honest, I really don't want to go either. So that's fine with me. Just, you know, stay home. He'll put the game on. I'll make dinner. And then I really don't have any interest in watching it. But I'll listen to it and paint. That sounds like a good plan, right? Painting while the Super Bowl's on. I really just watch it for the commercials, honestly. Thank you. No, they're not. They're not They're not any way like they used to be. Because I think people just get too offended these days. Um, yeah, and, like the I used to oh, God, the Dorito, Dorito commercials were the so freaking funny. I know. <laughs> but, yeah, there's just not really good commercials on anymore. I loved w watching the Super Bowl for the commercials. Yeah. Well, maybe if... Well, what time is... What time's the game? Is it at night? It's probably at night, kind of. I feel like maybe if you get up early and you go, you might be okay. But I guess it depends on what you need. Because if you're looking for, like, game food, it might be too late. I don't know. I don't know if I saw the Breaking Bad one yet. I might have, but I also might have not really gotten it because I actually have never watched Breaking Bad. Mm, that's funny. That um, I've never watched it. That's one of those shows that just never made it to my watch list. I agree, and then Mario watched it, and I kind of got hooked. Really? Yeah. It's one of those shows. What? That, like, you just, like, someone else watches it, and you kind of, like, watch it in the background, and then you start to really like it. That was me and, um... Sons of Anarchy when I was in college. Nate would always watch Sons of Anarchy. And then eventually I got really into it. And then it wound up becoming like one of my favorite shows. Never seen it. It's good. It's definitely not a show that I would like watch. You know, I would have chosen to watch. But it's it's good. It like brings you and you get really involved with the characters and the storyline and stuff like that. No sleeping in for you. Yeah, we're going to sleep in tomorrow, I think. We really don't have much to do. I think I got to go to Walmart because uh, we got to get um, some more like food for the guinea pigs, like the pellet food for the guinea pigs. Okay. But I don't think we really have anything else to do tomorrow. Busy today in your small town? Oh, I believe it. Thankfully, there's a bunch of grocery stores in my area. So, you know, we can pick and choose what store to go to there's multiple walmarts multiple giant eagles multiple aldi's bunch of different places let's see um maybe like one or two more rows of dots maybe some gold gold might look pretty So excited for this one. This is my last custom order right now, as of right now. So I get to free paint again. If I finish this, I can free paint all tomorrow. Which, I mean, I love doing these customs, not gonna lie, but I also love free painting. So I'm, I'm currently working on like a big cat painting, um, bigger than like my, the eight inch pieces that I've been doing. Um, so I was working on that for like the last couple days. And if I work on it tonight, I'll probably finish it tonight. It's going to be really hard to not work on the jellyfish, but I'll, I'll, I'll choose something else to work on if I finish up the cat. <laughs> um, I'll show you guys the cat in a second. Um, I'm doing like purples and teals, but like a darker purple and teal combo. So not typically a combo that I would reach for. Like I usually add in like lots of lighter colors. There's a bubble. Um, but 
Here, I'll show you. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. Definitely making use of the color shift paints. Um, I'm planning on filling this area in with scattered dots to kind of like, you know, get the black not as noticeable. Um, and I obviously have to do some top dot work up here, but I don't really know what I'm going to do up here. And for the tail, I haven't really decided what I'm going to do for the tail. But yeah, it's like a darker teal purple combo. There's not as many light colors like I would usually use. But I still think it's really pretty. So I think you guys saw a little bit of this yesterday. But oh no, I don't really go to Aldi that often, although they just kind of put one in recent-ish where I live and I always forget about it <laughs> thank you <clears throat> my dolphin is not fixed yet I'm working on it I just I have to be really patient with it because I think that if I try and like work on it and fix it too early I think it might impact my success rate um so I'm waiting for the layer of resin to dry I'll show you um, well, the, the resin layer is dry enough. Where'd it go? Where's my dolphin? On your stove. Mm. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> Sorry, Marina. Backing up. So the, the fixing layer um, has cured nicely. It just, it needs a second layer. That's usually what happens uh, because like some of the dots kind of poke through since it's not completely flat to begin with, especially when I do multiple top dots. And I feel like I have triple dots on here. So, you know, I knew that one coat wouldn't, you know, go over, but it seemed to have cured just fine. The issue is not the top coat, but if you can see this stuff right here, um, a lot of this is uncured resin because I accidentally did the whole like wrong resin ratio the first go round. Um, so I'm waiting for this layer to like completely cure, you know, so that I don't scratch it easily. And then I'm going to go in with sandpaper and rubbing alcohol and just basically go around the entire outside edge of this dolphin in hopes to remove all of the messed up part of the resin if that makes sense and then once i do that and clean it all up again uh, as you can see i'm not going to touch it but this it probably is all sticky um and once i clean it up i hope i can um, i'm going to do one final resin coat so yeah um i'm going to probably sand it tomorrow and see if i can't fix it or not hopefully i can though if there's a will, there's a way, I hope, um, but we will see. I just don't know how I did it. I, I mean, I do, but I also just like, I'm trying to wrap my head around how I managed to do it because I'm usually really good about that kind of thing. So I'm just not sure. What? Yeah, I mean, it happens. So aren't they pretty? Yeah, um, the person who bought this, she um, she used my color palette for the fox that I did for my friend. Um, she used that color palette for reference. So um, I was doing my best to kind of um, match the color palette. Um, I mean, it's not going to be exact because I did mix certain colors together for the fox. Um, and I wasn't really paying attention to the colors because... Um, I, I will repeat color schemes, but, um, when there's a lot of different colors to it, um, I really don't pay attention to it too much because I always change it up. The designs are always different, you know, um, even if the color schemes are pretty similar. So yeah, I never wrote down the colors. So I was just kind of going off of my picture and trying to match as best as possible. Um, and just kind of, I knew it would turn out, you know, so <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad, too. Okay, well, thanks for hanging out. Um, have a great night. Enjoy your dinner. <laughs> and maybe I will see you on Monday night when I hop on live.
my normal my, my normal Monday. If you're free, I'll be here. I've noticed that the more I do this kind of design, side note, <laughs> the more I do this kind of design, the better I am at like not letting my dots run together. I mean, it happens sometimes still, you know, I'm never perfect with that, but this definitely gives me good practice. Sweet. Yeah, around 6.30ish is usually, is usually when I'll probably hop on, so... All right, so I think I'm gonna pedal. I'm gonna do um, some pedals. Let me just look at that picture for reference because I like the way I did the pedals on that one. So you think I should do this, like this this kind of pedal work? Yeah. I think that's pretty. All right, um, so light brown. Let's do one here and how many did I skip one two one two here I'm trying to think no three one two three So I'm bringing back in like some design aspects from the fox that I did. So the color scheme is very similar and the design isn't exact, but it's going to have certain parts of it because I liked, I liked certain, certain parts of that fox. So like, I mean, I like the whole thing, but certain parts I really, really liked. So that's kind of how I change up my designs is um, I'll find past pieces that I've done and I'll pick and choose little aspects of each of each design to kind of bring into my next piece and then eventually I just have a ton of different designs they look similar but they're all different <laughs> because it is hard like making up a pattern that's probably one of the hardest things um, but once you get like a good foundation it's easy to make small little tweaks here and there to change to change up each pattern and kind of make them their own. Oh, the comfy the comfy animals. I think Toby is also snoozing somewhere. He's probably he's probably in his house, his little house, little little kitty house. If I had to guess, I haven't heard him, so that means he's asleep somewhere. <laughs> into no, he's usually really quiet or really loud when he's getting into things. He's not that sneaky. Happy Saturday! Hope you're having a good Saturday so far. So I started off with gold. I'm going to start off with gold again. So for this part of the design, we are going to kind of switch the swooshes around. So the first layer of swooshes is going to be like, you know, a normal downward swoosh. And then the next set is going to be upwards, which those are a little difficult still. So I have to be careful with them, but we will, we'll get it. We'll get it. Definitely not something I can do with a paintbrush though. <laughs> I love it when animals snore. I think it's so, so adorable and cute sounding. Toby doesn't snore, but he'll do this thing where he gets really relaxed and then he'll stretch out his paws, you know, and then he'll just do that. And then he'll like settle in a little more comfy. <laughs> it's adorable. It's usually like on my chest. He'll settle in and get comfy and curl up and fall asleep it's like it's our uh it's our nighttime routine whenever whenever we get into bed he'll eventually hop up and 
stare at us for a couple seconds and then cat loaf right on top of my chest for um, a little bit of time while we're watching TV before bed. Oh. <laughs> when they're dreaming. Are you done? Or are you still working? I'm not going to do the other one today. Oh. So what's your plan for now? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. You watch someone do doing all the solutions. Do you have a gold paint pen? Yeah. Can I see it? Do you need a big one or a small one? I don't know if I'm going to use it yet. Yeah, uh, the paintbrush ones. I was trying it last night so hard um i'm definitely gonna need to really practice with them but yeah i haven't really gotten the technique down i might have to actually pull up a youtube t tutorial i'm not usually one to do that usually i'll just kind of figure it out on my own but i think i might have to watch her youtube and see her tricks i do yeah deco art americana is my uh paint of choice and for like my metallic colors sometimes it's deco art a lot of the time it's folk art but my regular colors is pretty much solely deco art americana i love that brand i think that the consistency of the paint is perfect for dot art it's not too thick it's not too thin they have a really nice like broad color range and they're pretty inexpensive. Um, you know, you don't want to be cheap on your paints, but um, you like you don't want like the little apple barrel paints. Like those, those suck. But you can get these for ninety nine cents a piece at Hobby Lobby, so they're nice and affordable. <laughs> Are you gonna go take a nap? <laughs> she said, "I don't think so." Yeah, we'll see. My middle ring. Oh, thank you. I wanted it for Christmas, but my mom, like, didn't wind up getting it for me, uh, which is fine. But I wound up buying it for myself because I really wanted it. <laughs> it's opal, but it also, it's hard to see, but it also has um, pearls. So, like, I'm not, I, I'm June, so, like, pearl is one of the, was one of the birthstones. Um it has it has some pearls in it and then like fake opal but i don't care it's still pretty but it's hard to see the 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 pearl it kind of just looks like metal but i like it it took a second for my fingers to get used to it though um cuz i'm not used to like long long rings like that and sometimes i i always get it caught in my hair um <laughs> still not used to that but thank you Definitely worth it. And it's sterling silver, so it doesn't tarnish. I'm trying to use this dot kind of as like my center point to kind of get them pretty symmetrical. I mean, they're not going to be perfect, but I'm using that dot as sort of like a of a guide. I mean, you guys who watch me quite often know that I freehand a lot of my stuff. So, um, this line work for me is only to keep the circle part of it. Everything else is pretty freehanded. So it's never going to be perfect, perfect, but that's, that's kind of the beauty of it, you know, and it's less stressful because you're not, you're not totally concerned about everything being exactly the freaking same um because when it's all done it looks pretty anyways you know any tiny imperfection you're you're really not gonna see the design is gonna take over You can get the ring on eBay, by the way. <laughs> I buy my rings off eBay, surprisingly. Um, 
there's a couple different like eBay sellers that I've been buying from like since I was in high school. So the last 10 to 15 years of my life, <laughs> um, I have been buying rings from um, certain sellers on eBay. So like I know that they're legit because that's where I get them from and they always last really, really well, you know. Looking good, looking good. All right, so the next thing I used is the cream white color, which I might have to stir up a little bit because, oh yeah, I haven't used it, so starting to get that yucky film on top. Gross. Yeah, honestly, like, people, I've had people make fun of me, like, you buy off eBay. It's, it's like, yeah, I mean, it's not all, like, random things like there are actually like sellers on ebay that sell like new things you know it's not always used used stuff it must be like a millennial and like older type of thing <laughs> you really don't hear too much from ebay nowadays but people still use it Obviously, there are other platforms that work better when you're trying to sell certain things, but, you know, I always, I always have it if I need it. I think eBay works really well for, like, collector's things. Yeah, yeah, for collector's items, yeah, definitely. Although I did have like a shirt on there, like for sale, um, that I like totally forgot because I like really don't use eBay to sell things. And they like messaged me and they're like, hey, like I sent you a couple offers and I don't want to keep sending it uh, because like you can't send a bazillion offers. And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I actually sold this. <laughs> I forgot to take it off. My bad. Deco Art Americana acrylic paints. That's my brand of choice. There are a couple, uh, like, the metallic paints are not deco art Americana, um, but some of them are deco art, some of them are folk art, but all of, like, the matte paints, so, like, most of the paint that I'm using um, in this color scheme is just, like, regular, like, deco art Americana. So, I love them. I prefer that paint over any other brand of paint. And I know that a lot of people on here also will say the same. There are some people that, you know, they prefer folk art or, you know, things like that. But I'm a deco art girl. Oh, no. What did you do? Just it. <laughs> you bought the tools you're using to try out. Oh, thank you. Definitely hop in and try it. Um, it's a lot of fun. Once, once you get the hang of it. At first, it might be a little frustrating. Um because it does take a second to kind of learn how to use the tools and how to like, you know, create designs with the paint. Um, Cause obviously it's not like a marker, you know, you have to kind of learn the, the perfect amount of paint, you know, per dot. Um, but eventually you'll get the hang of it and it won't seem as tedious. It's gonna turn into pure enjoyment. Oh, yeah. Thank you. This thing almost just went crashing to the ground. These are the same or very similar colors that I used on the fox painting that I made uh, the other week that I made for my friend. Very similar. Trying to add just a little bit more brown, you know, just to kind of, you know, but for the most part same colors. Um, can I borrow, not borrow, but use a medicine cup? Yeah, they're in, I think, the top drawer. Pretty purple glitter. What kind of purple glitter? Because I got lots of purple glitter. Something that will look good with this. Oh, did you? <laughs> nice. Huh? Well, I have a fine glitter like that. I might. I just need something to cover this bottom. Well, you can you can check. You're probably gonna want to move the table anyway. Be careful. Oh. 
Um, all of my chunkies. Is this the same one? Uh, I think that's a little more pink. I think that's more of a pink. This one, this one probably. Should I use it? Yeah, I would probably use the same glitter, yeah. I also have a fine of it if you want it. I just need to... Hello, hello. Yeah, Marina's here. <laughs> Marina is here. She's working on um, a geode tumbler. I'm so glad you love it, Kim. Do you have a popsicle stick? Yep. Hold on. There's something like that. Yeah, she texted me, was it yesterday? And we're like, what are you doing yeah. on Saturday? You talking about on the phone oh, well, it was recent. And I'm like, come on over. <laughs> Dizzy Corgi says, hello to both of you. Hello, hello. <laughs> yeah, wait until you see it in person. <laughs> Kim knows. I think she's uh, purchased things. I'm pretty sure she's. This isn't the first thing that she's purchased from me. But yeah, a lot of, most of it, all of it. I don't know. All looks better in person. <laughs> Have you ever warmed up your beauty resin? Yep. Does it work? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just like set it in a cup of hot water. Yeah. I just want to make sure you know. No, um, the green, the green cup. This, yeah, okay. Down, I think. Oh, thanks. This color scheme was something I think I've already like mostly done though uh, from the Fox. That's That was the inspo for this color scheme. But other than that, I just kind of make the design work with the shape of things, you know? I just kind of go, just kind of go with it. I go with the flow. It's fun to see, you know, what all the different animal and dog and cat shapes turn out like. Cause I'll use the same kind of technique obviously, but the design fits each shape differently. Um, Kim, I know that your husband was like really liked the scattered mandala method, but like I'm really digging the full mandala method. Mm. And I use for the cat. Did I do a cat in this? Oh, that was a fox. I don't think it was a cat. I only I've only used this color scheme once before, um, and for that one it was a fox. But it kind of sort of looked cat like. I can see, I can see that with the pointy ears and the floofy tail. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. <laughs> no, that's okay. That's all right. It had the pointy the point the pointy ears and the fluffy tail. I was trying to think, I was like, did I do a cat in this color scheme? I'm like, did I? I don't know, I might have. <laughs> Aw, yay. I was gonna say, take a screenshot or something or I'll take a picture of it later so you can show your husband. Oh, 
Oh, I just put my tool down. I think this was the one I was using. <sighs> Do you have like a little thing to put the bubbles out? A lighter? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I have it. Yep. It's a torch lighter, so be careful. Like it's a torch lighter. <laughs> I, I like it though because it pops the bubbles and the resin really easily. I don't know. Yeah, Hobby Lobby. I think they're like two or three bucks. I love it. It's like the best lighter ever. If you're not going to get a heat gun, that's the lighter that you want to use. They're like over, uh, like by like the candles, you know, the candle holders and candle area. That's where they are. That's where you can find them. How long should I wait for this to like even out? I don't know. Before I set it. I would look, I would like get down and look at it. it looks, I mean, to me it looks flat. It looks nice and sparkly from where I'm sitting. It is so sparkly and beautiful. You still got to get brave with your swooshes and stuff. Oh, yeah. Right. Right. It takes a second. It does take a hot second sometimes. But the patience, having the patience, it's worth it. I promise. Yeah. Try and get to 10K, although it really hasn't done much to help me get on the For You page, unfortunately. That's okay. Who needs the For You page? Not me. <laughs> Hi, welcome. Thank you. So working on a custom order. Welcome, welcome. We just like to hang out um, and chat and I'll, you know, answer questions and give you guys tips and stuff if you need. Sometimes if I remember and I'm not too absorbed in the, the art itself, I'll go through exactly what I'm doing and why, but that doesn't usually happen <laughs> very often. You want to see my Valentine's nails? Sure. Uh, so the glitter is that mix that I um, mixed myself. From down glitter hauler and then she just did i have paint on my hand she just did like a metallic -y kind of rose gold nail and it's kind of hard to see but she painted little hearts on the one nail and it's the same thing on my left hand or my right hand as well i like them but they're also just not me i miss having like blue nails or opal nails or like black nails i miss it so i might have her Make them black next time, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, because this is a new set, so it's going to be hard to go over this, because it's all just glitter acrylic. So I might just have her put black over it. I don't feel like soaking my nails off again. At least not right now. I'll give it a, give it a, a, few, a few times, like maybe like a, a month or so. I don't know. It's just going to be a hard transition. The next set, like the next brand new set I get, I think I'm going to do like a black opal, like a black uh, glitter with like iridescent glitter, iridescent opal-y glitter, I think. I think that'll look so pretty. How long do you think I need to do it for it to like... A couple minutes, I think. Yeah, because it's hard on top, but it's... Yeah. Um, so I just use uh, the Velcro command strips. Um, I can't remember because I, I lost the packaging, but I think they hold at least five pounds. They might hold more than that, but definitely at least five pounds, which um, these are not even close to five pounds in weight. Um, but I always send Velcro command strips uh, with each order. That's how all of the paintings on my wall are hung because I live in an apartment. Um, 
but they they they're nice and strong they don't fall down every once in a while i'll have a piece like this piece i repurposed um and the this piece has like wall hanging stuff in it but most of my wooden pieces since i buy them from someone who just cuts the wood shapes they don't have the stuff on the back so i always include um velcro command strips or you can get one of those like um those picture frame stands like from Dollar Tree or Walmart, you know, like the little like frame holder things. Uh, and you can just lean it up on that if you don't want to hang it up. Yes, yes. Yeah, I didn't want just all the one glitter. So I was like, do an accent nail. I don't know. Put some hearts on it. Yep. I already have... Um, some mixed if you can't I mean I don't obviously it, it has the acrylic powder in it so you really won't be able to see the full effect of it uh, but this is just fine with some opal glitter and some acrylic powder um I recently got um some other like epoxy kind of additive glitters that have a little bit more of like a black chunky so I might add some of that to it as well I don't know the I just, I'm glad that I can <laughs> make my own nail stuff now. It's definitely fun. And we're going to go back and add some more white. Yeah, I know, right? Half the time it looks like the, the animal is wearing a sweater. But right now it just looks like they got little booties on. Probably going to just bring uh, a couple more rows of these dots and then we're going to finish it off with the scattered dots because I, I think that's a good way. Whenever the, you know, the design kind of starts getting broken up too much, whether it be like the feet or like the ears and the head and stuff, I usually like to switch to the scattered dot method so that you don't really have to focus as much on a design. You just kind of fill in what's left and it still looks pretty. gonna have to bring in some top dots again before I can't reach it and risk smearing it with my hand yep yes you can have a paper towel there we go This piece is a memorial piece um, for Kim's three, I think she said three, three, three wonderful corgi babies. I love, I love doing memorial pieces. I mean, I love doing these pieces in general, but when they have like way, like a bun, like a big meaning to it, it makes it even more special than it already is. Hey, how are you? How's it going? Happy Saturday. Is that curing okay? <laughs> Low power mode. I gotta plug my phone in. Shocker. Jen is older by seven minutes. Seven minutes older? Yeah. Gotta plug my phone in. It is a Yorkie. I meant I meant Yorkie, not Corgi. I keep saying Yorkie for some reason, but I mean Corgi every time. Um, wait, I keep saying Corgi, but I mean Yorkie. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying that. Like that's like been a thing for me, because I just keep calling it a Yorkie. Probably because they sound like similar, you know. Am I still pausing? Am I okay now? Hopefully I'm still okay. No, I'm pausing. Sorry guys. Uh, no, I, I just saw that I was pausing on my iPad, but hopefully maybe I'm not. You're moving. 
Well, I know, but it wasn't moving for a second. I saw like the the little dots like kind of going on the screen. Okay, cool. I did. Yeah, I did just finish a corgi piece. Yes. Okay, what do you think? Um, good. Very nice. Pretty. Yes, I am uh, placing an order tonight for some wood pieces. So, um, do you want it eight inches? I mean, that's pretty the standard, um, size that I go for. Um, for example, cause it's probably going to be like similar, um, in like size, um, like, well, shape wise, this is six inches. Um, so just a little bit bigger than this would be the eight inch one. I mean, obviously it's not a that's not the right shape, but it's similar in shape. So this is six inches. Um, I wouldn't recommend any smaller than this, but I would probably say eight inches is going to give you a nice, a nice area for the design. They want to see, can I see? This is a custom order. Put a final layer um, and she has to put a final layer of epoxy on it, but it is a, what is this? Moonstone. Rainbow Moonstone Geode on a purple cup. <laughs> so this is what the customer wanted. She doesn't usually do the purple, but this that's what they wanted. So it's I don't know if you can see the the flash of like the, the moonstone y kind of glass part of the No. It's prettier in person. It's way it's sparklier. Like it's a little sticky on the side. I know, I have to I have to finish my art. Oh, just oh, got you. Was, it's heavy. Yeah, that it makes it really heavy. But yeah, she's really big on making those statement tumblers. A lot of people like like her big statement like geode tumblers. So she's just been sitting here rhinestoning while I've been painting pretty much. yellow what like you're that's how behind i am right now i'm looking at you playing with it oh really yeah is that really how i don't think so no because my ipad is it's weird how um like the lag is different depending on who's watching Like a rhinestone cowboy, <laughs> yes. Um, I just bought rhinestone cowboy boots the other day, so. Wait, what did you do? Rhinestone cowboy boots. Oh, yeah. But they don't actually look like cowboy boots, which is good, because I don't really want to look like cowboy boots. Wait, were those the boots that I said that I wasn't sure if they look good, or they're yes. completely different? Nope, they are. Yeah, I don't know. I can hear the piggies making noise in the other room. Are they hungry? No, they're just like, I think it's the boy. He's like moving things around. <laughs> he just, he likes to do that. Would you like some uncured? No, thank you. Just throw it underneath. Huh? Just throw it underneath. Get it cured. All right. What size tool? That's a good size. That's a good size. I'm gonna bring out this orangey color. I love this orange color, but it's like, it does not do well on its own over black. Every once in a while, you'll get one of those Deco Art Americana colors that look really pretty in the bottle, but they're not very opaque, unfortunately. This is one of those colors. It had a lot of potential but you have to use it uh, over a lighter color for the color to really um, come out, which is upsetting. Yeah, right? <laughs> little corgi sweater. Oh my gosh, a little Yorkie sweater. Sheesh. I promise I know, I know what I'm painting. <laughs> I promise. People who watch my live later on YouTube are going to be like, Jesus. <laughs> Hello, future YouTube people. 
All right, getting some top dots in here just to kind of bring the design to life a little more. Um, let's use this color. Oops. I had a little clumpy bit of paint that I didn't realize was was there. Oh, I'm sorry. That's so sad. So hard. They they bring you so much happiness in your life, and then they're not around as long as we want them to be, unfortunately. Yeah, we're identical. Although, honestly, I feel like, I mean, we definitely look identical. I wouldn't say we look fraternal, but when you think of identical twins... Like that. Oh, stop it. When you think of identical twins, you think of, like, not being able to tell them apart. And I feel like we've always basically, and, and until, like, unless we were, like, really little, basically when we were old enough to, like, have our own friends and things like that um, and started dressing differently and, like, having different styles, like, you can, we're, you can tell us apart very, very easily. You can tell that we're twins, but I don't know. When I think of identical the identical twins that I know that I grew up with, I couldn't even tell them apart. And that's not like how it is for us, which makes me really sad. <laughs> yeah, but when we were little, though, there are pictures of us and I'm like, no clue which one it is. Yeah, but that, that's what I said. Like when we were little, we really were. But once we started dressing differently and getting older, it was hard to tell. Bringing in some more metallic paints. This one is called Worn Penny. So like a really dirty copper penny looking color. But like it's still pretty. <laughs> and this one is uh, Folk Art. Nope, nope, no it's not, just kidding. This is Deco Art Dazzling Metallics. I'm not usually one for buying deco art metallic colors for some reason i just really don't usually like them but like i needed some i really did so i grabbed this one today i just have to shake it up a little bit more i wish i could whistle i can't i can't whistle i said i wish i could whistle i can't i know you do <laughs> you like whistle and you don't realize it. <laughs> it is nice being a twin. I mean, it's just us. My parents didn't have any more. It was just us two. Um, and it is nice having like someone who's your who's the same age as you, you know. Um, that was really nice growing up, you know, because especially if like we were struggling, if I it was mostly me, but if I was struggling in like a like math I guess she was really good at math so um it was easy because she was obviously taking the same course at the same time I was you know so she was able to help me out with school um sometimes you were better than I was like way better I like struggled to get c's <laughs> and that was like after like lots of remediation and bonus points <laughs> trying to bring my grade up because math just never never computed with me I was never good with any type of math science absolutely but not math if you need me to take a picture of that later I can What time is it? 4.37. Sheesh. Almost 5 o'clock already. Goodness. I feel like we just started. I know we didn't, but I feel like we just started. Upsetting. What color is this? Oh, bronze. That's a pretty one. Let's see if I can't bring this in at all. It 
If you want, you can keep that light on. I don't mind. Okay. Where is he? In his house? Yeah, he likes his little house. He likes it in there. You were the only child, but you uh, you like being an only child. I can see that. We definitely had some some rough <laughs> things growing up. Uh, typical sibling, you know, stuff. Um, but at the same time, I don't know. I'm kind of glad I had her around. I sometimes wonder what it would be like to be an only child. But now that I'm older, I'm glad that she's around. <laughs> <laughs> we're a lot closer now that we're older than we were when we were younger. Yes. Uh, they split us up after kindergarten. So we, like, didn't have each other to rely on as we were growing up, like, in school and stuff with our friends and, you know, things like that. They, like, basically forced us to become our own person, which I guess is important sometimes to do with twins because, you know, that way... We don't have to just be friends with each other and that's it. Um, but yeah, so we're definitely closer now that we're older. So I'm glad that I'm glad that I'm not an only child for that reason. It's nice having a friend that I live with. <laughs> yeah, I it sucked when we were younger, but I kind of I kind of I kind of understand it now, you know, um, seeing how close some twins are. Um, it, it definitely gave us the opportunity to branch out and really become our own person because we couldn't rely on each other as much, um, especially in like middle school. Um, there were like in the same grade, there were like two different teams. So sometimes like we were on opposite teams, we had different teachers and, you know, different friends and things like that. Um, and so I, I do think it helped us growing up, but it did suck at the same time. It does, it does seem a little unfair, that's for sure. Oh, I just love top dots. It really just makes the design really come to life. It adds some extra dimension to it. I hate not doing top dots. It's very rare that I don't top dot a piece. Although I did just paint a piece that didn't have top dots, but that was a hard decision to make. I, I went back and forth on it for a while and then ultimately decided no top dots. <laughs> I kind of want to do maybe some triple dots too. What do you think? Triple dots, maybe? <laughs> What's up, Shane? Oh wow, I do. I'm on, I'm honestly like not even paying attention to the number. Um, seven. Well, right. I had seventy eight. It's like seventy five. Yeah, that's actually a nice, decent amount. Shock. I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> Apparently, you can't adult by yourself. Yeah, a lot of us can't. <laughs> I can't a lot of the times, I feel like. Why? What happened? Did I finish the blue and gold? You mean the blue and green diamond? Is that what you're talking about? What was I working on that was blue and gold? Mindlessly put dishwasher soap in a wall. Oh no! <laughs> I bet I bet your wife is mad at you. Is it super bubbly? Yeah, I can typically get these done within a few hours. Um, 
it's usually about three to four hours for most of them. Um, so it's almost five o'clock, so kind of makes sense that this is kind of the point that we're at right now. But yeah, it's coming along nice and nice and nice. Is there any color shift that would work on this? Let me see. Um, I don't know, like maybe... I don't have every single color shift. There is an orange color shift. Um, I did not buy the orange color shift because it just, I don't really like it too much. There is an orange color shift, so you could probably use that one. Um, it's not the, it's not the kind of color shift that has the gold shift. It has more of that like bluey, you know, kind of shift. If you know what I'm talking about, like some have that gold and some don't. Um, so there's that one, and then, I mean, this one's the red, this one's called raspberry, and this one has the gold finish, or the gold flash, so, like, maybe this one, potentially, maybe if you mixed it with, like, yellow, I don't know, um, you might, you might be able to mix the yellow, yeah, I'm curious, I kind of want to see what that m looks like mixed with the yellow flash, maybe we'll do a little experiment. But yes, they do have they do have a, a um, an orange flash. I just it's not my favorite color. Hey, what's up? I know, I know. I saw a sloth today at Hobby Lobby, and I thought of you. It's not it's not the kind of sloth that I want to get, but I thought of you. <laughs> Oh, no, I haven't even started that piece yet, Lisa. <laughs> haven't even started it. I have to do um, the purple one and the regular blue one first. Because that's, um, that's for my, like, um, collection. The blue and, like, the goldish kind of canvas... That one will just be something random on a later date at some point. All right, so gross. Let's see what happens if we mix <laughs> some of the yellow flash. These are new bottles. I guess there's just a little air bubble. Blue uh, or yellow and red, you know, should make orange, right? So I probably need a little more yellow. Oh, that's actually a really, oh, that's a really pretty color. Need a little, little more of the yellow. So if you maybe mix some of the, the, the color shifters, you might be able to get a color to use with this. It kind of like makes it more of like a copper though, which I mean is still really pretty. Um... And like this, this color would definitely work on this for sure. And if I can find a way to maybe incorporate it, maybe I will. Um, I'm just trying to get it mixed up so I can show you guys. I don't know if you can kind of see it, uh, but both of the color shifts that I use to make this, both of these have that like goldish flash to them if that makes sense so i just i mix these two together more yellow than the raspberry color but yeah i would say you could probably do that one that's real pretty i'm gonna put a cap on that maybe i'll maybe i'll use it i don't i don't think yeah oh wait that's not the right one just kidding i grabbed the wrong one yeah that would be pretty that would be pretty. Oh, thank you. Oh yeah. Here is the current piece I'm working on with like a teal and turquoise with it. I always do purple with like teal and turquoise, but here's my my one little like piece that I work on on the side. But you know, slowly but surely, I'm definitely gonna bring in some like like pastel turquoisey kind of color scheme sea foam on this one eventually probably start this one on monday but i love all the colors yeah i was thinking triple dots i was staring at it for a second and i'm like where can i put the triple dots like i was thinking like maybe i don't know 
here or here maybe let's let's do these ones first see what happens They have that typical, you know, sticky um, folk art color shift paint consistency, of course. So you gotta be careful. Marina, can you be careful with that sound? Be careful with the sounds you're listening to, because if I can't upload it, my stuff to YouTube because of that, I'm going to be annoyed. Oh. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Pretty. Oh. Oh, 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 this one. This one. You're talking about this one, this blue, green, and uh, goldish one? No, haven't gotten any further on it. <laughs> nope, it's still sitting here waiting for me to want to paint it again because I just haven't felt like it. Yeah, the yellow flash, honestly, like yellow isn't a color that I like to use all that often. I love the yellow flash. Yeah, 100%. I would definitely purchase it. I've already went through one bottle of it, so it's definitely a very um, heavily used color. Um, the I've only like finished uh, a couple flash colors. Um, obviously, the aqua flash I have used all of and had to buy again. Um, my two favorite purples I have used all of and had to buy again, and the green, but. So probably about half of the flash ones that I've had, I have like repurchased and then the other ones, I just don't use them enough, but yeah, definitely I would get the yellow. And if you don't have raspberry flash, I would get raspberry flash. I bought a red the other day, but this one you can see it kind of has that like the blue kind of flash to it. Um, I bought this one the other day, have not used it yet, but maybe eventually. I had a coupon that got me like basically a dollar off of the flash paints while I was at Joanne Fabrics, so I decided to take advantage of it because they're they're like four ninety nine plus tax regularly, so I don't typically like to buy my flash paints and like Walmart doesn't have every single one of them, so I usually only buy them if I have a coupon of some sort or like a gift card or whatnot. So since I needed the yellow, I figured I'd grab another. I'd grab another one. Yeah, that was a pretty mix, wasn't it? It's very like coppery, but it still has like that orangey reddish to it. I don't really know. It's not rose gold, but it is, it's very pretty. It's a very pretty color. Oops, I put the lid on that and I did not want to. Forgot. So close, but I don't know if we're gonna finish this today, you guys. What time is it? We got eight minutes. <laughs> we're not gonna finish it. We might be able to get most of the dots on, but not enough to do the top dots on the scattered dots. I know that for sure. So I'll probably finish it tonight off camera, but. All right, so time to do some dots. Got to mix up some of these paints a little bit because they've been sitting out, uh, sitting out for three hours. Hmm. 
Oh yeah, very pretty, very pretty. I want a little bit more of this brown in the corner. Um, no, not really. Uh, basically what happens is my paint containers since I like to use the lids they're getting a little crusty <laughs> and I just like I haven't cleaned them yet um I haven't devoted the time to clean them yet so they're really hard to open right now and they hurt my hands <laughs> so I've been uh I have these little like you know those little paint palettes with like the little indentations you just pour your paint in them um so that's what I've been using uh, but the the downside with those is that you know, if you're using them for an extended amount of time, they're just completely open to the open air. And so your paints start to dry out. Like I have like this little plate guy. Um, so, you know, that's the downside, but whatever. Could be worse. I always tell myself that I need a lot of paint, but I really don't. Like I could definitely didn't have to squeeze nearly as much paint out. But I will, like, put a little, uh, I'll put another one of these on top of it to kind of keep them from drying out while I go get my coffee tonight. Um, <laughs> and I, I'll come back to it and it should still be okay. Um, I'll probably, I, if I need to, I can add, like, a little bit of, like, mixing medium to it or um, sometimes, like, using rubbing alcohol or alcohol ink, so the same or similar color will help loosen the paints just a little bit if you need it. Uh, but I won't be gone that long, so not too concerned about it. Typically, I use those palettes if um, it's colors that, like, I know I'm probably not going to use again, like, immediately, you know? Because um, then I don't waste my little containers. Because eventually they do dry out enough where it's, you know, annoying to use them. So I try and save those little containers for colors that I use all the time so that I can get as much use out of them as possible. But yeah, I just need to I need to clean my <laughs> need to clean the cut the caps of my, my paint bottles. It's just there's it's there's a lot to clean. Um so I'm gonna have to set some si some time aside to do it and I just I really don't want to it's like it's like cleaning makeup brushes you know you know it needs to be done but nobody freaking wants to do it I bought them from somewhere overseas um I do I sell them on my website um I only have two left right now though I need to get more in um but I'm sure you can find some on Amazon um, places like that, but yeah, I, I had to go overseas for them, because I wanted, I wanted to get a bunch, you know, bulk, bulk buy, um, they are the new additions to my starter kits, um, but I do sell them separately as just, like, tools, you know, um, but they're, they, they, they take the place of the magnets in my starter kits, because now I, you know, ran out of magnets, and Decided to change it up and add a paint palette instead. But Hobby Lobby has them. They're just not this small. But Hobby Hobby Lobby does have them. And if you go whenever like the paint stuff is on sale, you can grab some and they're not that expensive. Dollar Tree, I want to say, might have some as well. Um... There's a bunch of different ones. They're not going to look exactly like this, but they're going to do the same job, right? So 
so close to being kind of done with the ears. Just filling in, filling in some empty spots. I think that looks okay. Gonna flip her over. I know we only have like two minutes left, but uh, let me just double check my text to make sure Scott didn't leave yet. No, did not leave yet. <clears throat> Yeah, I think it's like the little six pack, right? Like there's like, it's like more of like a square maybe. Oh yeah. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad that you guys decided on me <laughs> to create something special for them. It makes me feel honored. Thank you for having me do it. <laughs> I'm sorry that you can't see it completely get done today, but um, it's like close to being done. So I'll probably work on like the last like little bits of it tonight off camera. And then I'll email you a picture of it with all the top pots on it and things like that. No problem. Thanks for hanging out, Jen. It was good to see you. Have fun on your errands. Hopefully, you know, you can beat you can beat most of the crowds. <laughs> I don't plan on going anywhere tonight, I don't think, besides Starbucks. We know that I always go to Starbucks, but that's the only place I'm going. I'm not going to go to the grocery store. I don't know. Maybe we'll go to Walmart, but I don't know. I'll give Scott the option. <laughs> if he wants to go tonight or we'll wait till tomorrow. Looking so pretty. So, so pretty. What was that next color? This reddish one. Well, I guess with this way, Kim, your husband still kind of gets that clustered dot kind of style to it <laughs> since it has a little bit of it on the ends of like the ears and the feet. Oh, you're not going to the grocery store. I know some people were trying to maybe hit the grocery store before tomorrow. Wasn't sure if you were one of them. Do they have your own personal table with a name flag? <laughs> no, but actually, I am customer of the week. Um, they just haven't, like, made the sign yet, so eventually I will be officially customer of the week. What? Um, you know, like, if you go into some Starbucks and they have, like, the person's name on the sign, it says customer of the week and it has their drink. They told you? Yeah. They were like, we want you to be the first one. And I'm like, me? With my basic iced vanilla latte? Really? And they were like, well, yeah, you come in every night. Like, might as well. Well, Scott gets a toasted white mocha still because they still have the, the, the mix. Um, but they, like, technically don't sell it anymore. But they just give it to him until they run out. What's he going to get once they run out? Just a white mocha. <laughs> but isn't that so special? <laughs> Exactly. Best of both worlds. I was never customer of the week up in Erie, and I don't know why. I always knew who I was, too. I don't know. I have, like, legit conversations with them, though. Me, too. Did you bring them Christmas presents? No. Yeah. Well, I did. <laughs> Good for you. All right. I don't know where they want to go. Okay. Don't, don't forget the spray paint. <laughs> yep. Don't forget to spray paint. I guess Scott is still working. We're going to keep on keeping on until he texts me and says that he's leaving. See if I can't get the remainder of the, the, the base layer of these dots on. Bye. We will try. Bye. Love you. Oh, I just shocked you. Sorry. Yeah, I felt that. Love you too. Drive safe. Text me when you get home.
Oh, fun. When? There's an Aldi right here. I, go, I don't know if they have it. Because hmm. the last one we went, it was all the time the one that I go to. Uh, I Did see. You get your stuff out of here? It should just have been all that paint. So, unless there's a bottle of acrylic paint in there, I got everything. Venti ice white mocha, light ice ristretto. Ooh, that sounds good. I have a bunch of packages. Yeah. How many? Three or four. Really? Oh, I want to open my packages. <laughs> Scott would probably like that. We've uh we've gotten like ristretto before. If they were like out of blonde, they've done ristretto for us. That's the way to order it. No, you get blonde and ristretto. It's a different it pulls, but if they're out of blonde, the ristretto is, isn't get as... Get blonde with them doing it ristretto. That's how I get mine. Oh. It's yeah, apparently it's like a smoother kind of taste with the cinnamon. He'd probably really like that. Mm -hmm. That sounds really good. I'll have to tell Scott to try it out. He likes cinnamon. Um, he also would get like the, the cinnamon dolce. It's sweeter. Yeah, he likes that kind of stuff. He's definitely, I mean, he, he likes to taste his coffee, but, like, not really. Like, if it's bitter, he's kind of annoyed about it. Um, he definitely goes for the sweeter drinks. Like, I can't do white mocha. It's too sweet for me. Um, but I think that he would really probably like the cinnamon on it for sure. Because that even sounds, like, really good to me. But I can't I can't get rid of my... Ice vanilla latte. Like, that's my thing. Mr. Kitty, stay out of my packages, my guy. My cat is curious of my packages. I think my liquid latex came, which is good because I'm running out and I need it. But I don't know what else is here, so it's going to be a surprise to open it. Even if you know what it is, it's still fun to open. It's kind of like Christmas, you know? Being an adult, some of the small pleasures is buying stuff for yourself and then opening it. It's like a little present. Even if it's a necessity. <laughs> I love packages. You're like, oh, a present that I worked hard for and bought myself? Thanks, self. You're so nice. You know exactly what I want. <laughs> this is the tedious part. Just filling in all the little teeny, little teeny areas. We're getting there. We're getting somewhere with it. I feel like for you guys looking at it, you're like, there's no more space for dots. And then I just keep going. But if you look at it up close, there's there's um, not a bunch of spots, but there are definitely spots that can still be filled in with little baby dots of paint. So that's what I'm doing. This t this this uh, part is kind of difficult to stop though, you know, like you don't have to go tiny, 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 tiny. Um, I kind of just try and put dots in places that like my eyes will catch. Like if my eyes are drawn to certain areas, if there's like excessive little parts of black space, then I'll try and add some small dots to really just fill it in. And obviously eventually it gets pretty filled in and then your eyes really don't get drawn to it anymore. Um, and then I'll just sit here and I'll just 
put like the tiniest dots that I can on this. Um, but we're, we're getting to a part, the point where I can say, yeah, I'm comfortable with stopping. I think it'll be good. And we just gotta wait for these to dry. And I gotta do some top dots. And then I gotta wait for it to dry again. And then I'll erase all the line work and maybe, maybe do a little bit. Like I might put some dots here. I don't know, just fill it in just a little more. Um, and then after everything's dry, I'll erase all the, the marks and then it'll get its resin coat and it'll be a good to go. It's probably like midweek. Um, I would say probably be, um, ready to go if I'd have to guess, as long as everything goes well and no little unforeseen problems occur. <laughs> um, at this point though, I don't usually have problems with resin. Every once in a while, of course, my dolphin, but that was like the first problem in a very long time. So what do you guys think? Pretty? Thanks. Thank you so much. All right, I'm comfortable with this. Comfortable stopping here for tonight. Let me just zoom in a little bit so you can see it a little better. Um, it's hard to see the color shifts just the way the lighting is. Um, oh my God, the cat scared me. <laughs> but he, he, um, once you put the resin coat on it, it really brightens up all of the colors. Uh, the colors are still nice and bright, but they they dry matte, you know, so. You ordered resin rockers yesterday. The discount didn't work. Really? Interesting. I feel like I just got a notification uh, the other, like, the other week that someone used my code. So, I mean, I can ask to see if it's still active, but it should be still active. It should even be, like, um like automatic whenever you go onto the resin rockers website if you go through the link in my bio it should be automatically applied i don't know i'll have to check i'll have to check i'm sorry i mean yeah i'm sorry you didn't get your extra little five percent off yeah the gold is like so freaking awesome you almost got pulled over uh oh <laughs> hopefully everything is fine oh Speaking of, I need to hop off now. Scott is on his way. He texted me two minutes ago and I didn't notice. So I will see you guys um, on Monday night. We will probably do the jellyfish. I don't know. But thank you for hanging out with me. And I will see you guys on Monday. <laughs> gotcha. No, no problem, Terry. I'll, I'll look into it. It's not a big deal, though. Bye, guys.